stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> Home, sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartrand came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Luck hasn't exactly been our strong point so far. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> the treasure we found in that crypt far outstrips Bartrand's stupid idol. He'll be green with envy when he finds out. As soon as I get the chance, I'll look up my contacts to make sure we get the best price. I imagine you'll want to head home, tell your family the good news. We're going to be rich. So you're back. No, oh, thank the Maker. Please, talk some sense into him. Carver, what are you wearing? I've joined the Templar Order. There's no point in trying to talk me out of it. It's done. You realize that you're related to an apostate? See, Mother? I told you she'd only think of herself. I want to be someone. Like Father wanted. Like I want. This is my chance. Carver, please. The Order is so dangerous. I'll be fine, Mother. You don't need to worry about me. And you don't need to worry about me turning you in. I know the value of family. So the champion's brother was a Templar? Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? How else did an apostate remain invisible for so long without help from within the Templars? And the Champion's companions? Meryl, Aveline, Isabella? That Warden, Anders? Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount will take the goddess. Carver joined the Templars, just as he said he would. He didn't turn in the champion, at least. Three years later, the Kunari still have a plan. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage, but these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. 
leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you, by name. What did you do? I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hawk? Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued. Behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. The Kunari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh... You have doubts? They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Is this a paid position? I'm somewhat in demand. You've served yourself, built a fortune. I give you that. But if you, and only you, cannot calm this situation, I fear the only reliable investment will be in swords and armor. Serve your city. And then we will talk about what you are due. The Arishok is waiting. Make... what a mess. Good day, Sarah. Well, you have certainly risen through the rank. Good for you. Good day, Sarah. We'll need to give them answers by tomorrow, Captain. I'll have them. Dismissed. The Seneschal was particularly vocal. Dismissed. You'd think the Captain of the Guard could requisition a Templar or two, but no, that would be demeaning. Can't have them working for the people when Eternity needs a nanny. That's why I remain unimportant. Less pressure. As if the return of the Amels hasn't set Hightown on its ear. As long as it's off its ass. Sure, have your fun. But the coin you poured into Kirkwall tipped what balance there was. I didn't realize I was making it worse by getting ahead. I'm just harassing you. Although you are a bit like the center of a hurricane. 
You've changed fortunes for many people, not always for the better. Sounds like you're spreading yourself pretty thin. There are a lot of people in my charge. Someone has to look out for them. You guard the guardsmen? I don't turn people loose like Jevon. There's additional training, doubled patrols. Costs are up, but I've halved injuries. I'll take it and argue with Seneschal Bran later. After the last captain, you couldn't have expected this to be easy. At least I had the guards on my side. Once they understood, they rallied. And those who didn't weren't fit to hold the crest. Stack friends against the enemies. I don't know if I came out ahead, but it's for the better. Grouse all you want, but the Aveline I know doesn't regret a second as captain. They'd have to drag me out of here. And I'm sure some are lining up to try. You among them, I bet. Haven't had much time to follow you around. Not that I need to. I can trust that you at least try to do right. I'm with you if you need me, Hawk. Just say the word. Nothing going on, Hawk. You'd be the first to know if there was. I wish the guards weren't so indignant. Seamus, wasn't it? The Viscount's boy? You're here rather often, Sir Arhawk. A good influence, I think. Even by not taking sides, you helped start something. I still accept no blame for defending Kunari. And I don't miss the kinship of the people who oppose what I believe. The Arashok asked for me. I think they're a headache, but so are many people. Then you've already treated them with more grace than most. Mere existence should not be an offense, no matter how they challenge the Chantry. Not when some of their ideas are so... compelling. Another time, when things are better. I've been looking everywhere for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same. We can't all be short and bearded like your people, Bowden. <sighs> Indeed. It's quite a shame, really. I came to deliver this to you. The last of the proceeds from all that treasure you found in the deep roads. It seems your friend Varric found a buyer after all, yes? Quite well done. I can put this to good use. Of course. Always happy to help. Uh, before I go, may I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandil's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bowden. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the Deep Roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your adventures. Your mother asks that you return to the mansion when you have a chance. Greetings, citizen.
I heard the Kunar were never open to high That's ridiculous. How could they afford them? Kirkwood is going to the dogs, believe me. Good day. You've settled in nicely. It's just luck. And skill. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... I'm listening, Aveline. What's the trouble? A thorn in my side inventing trouble and scaring people. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help, and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected, and he won't be quiet. You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuy mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that, bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? Seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. If it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this. I like the doggy. Maybe Sandal picked up some Mabari speak from our time at the Hero of Ferelden's camp. If you need any enchantments, I'm sure my boy would be happy to help. <gasps> enchantments! Just so. Its eyes follow me around the room. Creepy. Didn't Fenris say all Tevinta wine is made from the blood and tears of slaves? I hope he was exaggerating. Good to see you.
have a very large mouth and here I've always looked up to you what is it now there were fist fights in the barracks over who was the model for your guard cereal hard in high town riveting stuff everyone loves a dirty guard on the edge Varric. fine I'll start his big finish three chapters until Don and Brenakovic retires and opens a tavern on the coast I sure hope he makes it He's getting too old for this shit. I thought it would end here. That young lady, Hawk. She decimated Flint Company. No survivors. Yet, now that I know who sent them, it's harder to see their deaths as justice. Death is never justice. My... Hawk? We were just talking about you. Saying good things, I hope. Hawk asked diplomatically. You know, I hate it when you do that. Hawk muttered in an angry aside to the dwarf. If, uh, you two have a moment, I've learned who hired Flint Company. The Harrimans, a noble family of Kirkwall. They were my parents' allies. It's hard to believe they betrayed us like this. Tell me about this family. Lord Harriman used to be a good man, but he became rather strange in his dotage. He died some years back. His daughter took over the family, Lady Johane Harriman. They say she's become quite reclusive of late. Any idea why they turned on you? Money? Power? It's hard to say. Lady Harriman was always jealous of my family for being royalty when hers were mere nobility. But I can't imagine that pushing her into outright murder. This is why the cycle of violence never gets broken. You jest, but that's the truth. Give this up, Sebastian. Dedicate yourself to the Chantry as you swore. I must speak with Lady Harriman and find out what drove her to this madness. But I am the last of my line. I should not go alone and make myself a target. If I'm standing beside you, that should make her think twice. Again, your interest in my plight humbles me. If you like, I can travel with you until you confront Lady Harriman. Otherwise, you can always find me here in the Chantry.
We're here. So the Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around again like you asked. Funny story. I'll pass, but thank you for the help. Spoil sport. Why you want to squat up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. So do I. Three years. There's still no sign of Daenerys. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. This is his mansion, isn't it? He must know you're here. Would you be surprised to learn that it isn't, in fact, his mansion? It belongs to a Tevinta merchant, one who has evidently given up on the place. Perhaps he is dead. Perhaps Daenerys killed him. Either way, if Daenerys is aware of my presence, he has done nothing. Don't tell me you're going to miss all the attention. Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? You take a breath and look around. And start anew. I don't know how. My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. You don't know who you were? Fenris was the name Daenerys bestowed upon me. His little wolf. If I once had another name or a family, then they were taken from me. But again, this is not your concern. I might be able to help with your problems. Or give you a few more. <laughs> Only a few. It depends if I really work at it. Tempting. You're a beautiful woman, Hawk. Is there no one else who has your attention? The day's still young. I'm an escaped slave and an elf living in a borrowed mansion. None of those things bother you. And I'm an apostate refugee. Does that bother you? You have me there. You raise an interesting point. I'll have to consider it. We should move on. Good. Carry on. That's strange. The door's wide open. And not a single guard posted. This is not the Lady Harem and I remember. There is something very wrong in here. of a bitch what's taking so long flora why does no one in this house care what i want more wine or i swear i will drown you in the dregs 
She doesn't even see us. This is no normal wine. More logs. It must be molten. You, more coins. I want every scrap of gold in this house. Please, Monsieur! There's nothing to fear. You'll be beautiful. Pour it over her. Don't! You'll kill her! He can't hear me. Perhaps I should be the one. We must end this madness. I visited this house often as a child. They could not have concealed such goings on. I beg your pardon, Hawk. I did not mean to expose you to such things. No. The feather. Use the feather. Where have you been all my life? Today, I am more than a man. Come, felicitate me. He has no idea we're here. I've known Ruxton Harriman my whole life. He's a complete prude. Where's your brother? Let's ask him to join us. Now, you be the naughty apprentice, and I'll be the... ...the torturer. Not going to happen. I don't you want to do that. You know what they say about a man with big hands. I have the man who's right here. There is nothing here for you. Odd. When we watched you being a drunken ass, you ignored us completely. You shall not enter. Greater evil they were protecting. A ruin so close to High Town. I remember no such thing. In the shadows. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I can't do that. I don't think I can do that. You must give me more. Starkhaven will not submit. I put that idiot Goran Vale into the Prince's seat, but the other families won't heed him. I must marry him to Flora and solidify our hold. But I need more power. I have given you much. Your desires run deep. You've already traded your husband and your children. What more can you offer? At the Blooming Rose, 50 silver's standard for a hall. You'll hardly find my services standard. Who is this? Who are you? How did you get here? Sebastian! You were my mother's friend. How could you murder her? Such an ugly word. I prefer remove the only obstacle between her and her dreams. This was your idea. I could create such desires if I wished. But it's far easier to nurture those that already exist. The desire for power is easy to find. You and your friend both possess it, do you not? You both wish to rise. What if it meant selling out my family? How loyal were your friends to you? Everyone has a price. Everyone wants something. Do not listen to her. Oh, such a pious soul. Masking so much ambition. Are you so different from my lady? You yearn for the same lands. The same power. I am the rightful heir. She is a usurper and murderer. You swore to put aside worldly goods and ambitions, but they couldn't stop you from wanting them. You and Lady Harriman are fighting for the same thing, aren't you? Regaining my birthright is hardly the same as stealing it from another. But you want it. You had resigned yourself to letting your brother rule. Yet now, that seat glitters before you. You've always wanted it. You needn't deny it any longer. All you have to do is kill anyone in your way. Silence, Temptress. Your whispers led our allies astray. You're the only one I must kill.
all. Let us return to the Chantry. I must... Sebastian! I am so, so... Sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do... What those creatures made us do... We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. Did your mother order the attack on Sebastian's family? She did. You... You know mother, Sebastian. She was always jealous of your parents. The demon twisted that until it was all she could think of. She was determined to seize Starkhaven for herself. Was your mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made Mother too confident. She thought she could deal with the demon and not fall prey to it. Those ruins there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. Don't blame your mother. The Desire Demon made this happen. I doubt many people will be so forgiving. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not make up for what happened. No, that's true. I'll tell you when I need you. Good. Captain. It feels good to be captain of the guard, yes? No, I will not change the patrols around your mansion again. There's already been too many questions. You wound my pride with such accusations. But you were going to ask. Eventually. <sighs> I'll look at the roster and see what I can do. We're here to serve the mage. Are you an Andrasti of Fenris? If I say no, will you attempt to convert me? I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demon's touch. But I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. You acted honorably. Why are you ashamed? The demon didn't lie. I used to be bitterly jealous of my brother. I wanted to be prince. Now everything he had is mine. And he lies in ashes. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right? Or simply to have what I never thought I could? Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were... rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, and I was left in the cold. They put me in the Chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. 
You seem very dedicated to the Chantry. You were put there against your will? At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. I was a wild boy, ashamed to my family. The Chantry made me a man. It's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. It's the wisdom not to want power that lets you use it wisely. You didn't feel what that demon stirred in me. It cannot be right to lead any army to Starkhaven with such doubt in my heart. I owe you more than I can say, Hawk. I will offer my service to you here before I move on. I can think of a few services for you to perform. What? Why are you smiling like... Oh. Oh, my. That, that, that's not what I meant. I... Uh... I think I need to pray. A lot. Many elves believe in the Maker. I ask only because I wonder if your experiences soured your faith. My faith was never strong. It's difficult for a slave to have faith in someone who abandoned them. The Maker didn't enslave you, Fenris. He didn't help me much either. And yet you stand here free. Perhaps he helped you more than you think. I think this is yours. My grandfather's bow, but where did you get it? One of the Flint Company men did some looting. I figured I'd return the favor. Thank you. It's hard to mourn the loss of a thing while my family lies dead. But I did think of it. What's the story behind that bow? As the youngest son, it was my place to lead Starkhaven's militia. But I never had a talent for swordplay. Too much getting hit. My grandfather said the bow is the wise man's weapon. You can defend your city without opening its gates. Grandfather said the day I could pull the string on his bow, it would be mine. Then why didn't you have it with you? I was 13 when my grandfather made me that promise. I would rise at dawn to practice my shots until I could hit the ice lid of a helmet from the top of the ramparts. But my parents pledged me to the Chantry before I could show him. Were you and your grandfather close? He was a man of the world, Prince of Starkhaven. But he had the most unshakable faith in the Maker. When my parents threatened to pledge me to the Chantry, he told me he'd gladly trade his title for a life of contemplation. The Maker ordained a place for each of us, I remember him saying. We have only to serve. I'm sorry I never got a chance to meet them. To save them. I know. You're a true friend, Hawk. You brought me this to remember and honor them. But if I could bring back our lowest servant by snapping it in half, I'd do it without regrets. I think Grandfather is smiling now, seeing me holding his bow. Like you haven't moved in three years. 
It's easier for people to find me this way. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes. That turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. It could have contained the relic. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. You can count on me. Thanks. I appreciate it. If I learn anything new, you'll be the first to hear about it. We used to have another bartender here, you know. Why do you always win at cards? <laughs> because I cheat, Kitten. <laughs> this trinket, it's Elvin, isn't it? From your clan. Don't bet anything you're not prepared to lose. Here, have it back. A jigger of your finest whiskey for my friend over here. The hanged man's finest isn't much, but it'll get you just as drunk as anything you'll find in Hightown. And you'll wake up and find someone stolen your trousers. <laughs> That's when you know it's a party. I thought I'd have to watch myself around you, but as it turns out, you're all right. What do you mean, I'm all right? You don't judge people. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, little things like that. If I had someone like you on board my ship when the storm hit, maybe we wouldn't have been shipwrecked. Maybe you would have been shipwrecked sooner. I'm a terrible sailor. Are you? I suppose I'll have to keel haul you till you shape up. Oh? I once knew a sailor like you. We lost him in a hurry. Grace, I promise. What are you talking about? You're squatting in Hightown. I sympathize with your claims, but your neighbors have influence. My claims? To the estate. Rightfully stolen isn't exactly something I can forward to the Viscount. Be more discreet about... yourself. I shall endeavor to exist with less offense. Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. I suppose after the whole business with Carver, it's a good idea to hang on to what you've got. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. What would I do without my trusty dwarf? I'd cry myself to sleep without you. Oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me, Hawk. You know I can't stand to see a human cry. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Do you ever feel like you're part of a story that someone's telling? Make up my wish. Whoever was telling the story had made me more handsome. Seen you around Motown, haven't I? Hey.
Have you heard from your brother? Is he happy? With the Templars, I mean. Why trouble yourself over him? I know how hard it is to give up everything and live among strangers. I worry about him. And not just for his sake. Carver hates being happy. It interferes with his brooding. The poor boy. I know he was angry when he left, but this wasn't your fault. One day he'll understand you were trying to protect him. Maybe with time he'll forgive me. He loves you. He just doesn't show it very well. Things will be all right, somehow. By the Dread Wolf! Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? It's clean sometimes, I swear. my offer for you to train the guard into winter fighting techniques. I've heard nothing. My abilities were inflicted, not taught. I will not pass that on. Some good should come of them. No. I was hoping you'd come. You did so much for my Fenriel already, but... I visited him among the people, but he turned me away. I know the demons still plague him. And now they've taken him. Two days ago, Fainriel went into a nightmare and hasn't returned. He can't be woken up? The Keeper says he is near death. His lips still fog a mirror. But that is all. Surely there are mages who can pursue him in the Fade. I have contacted Keeper Marathari. The Dalish have an ancient ritual that might help. But it requires someone Fainriel trusts to enter the Fade to free him. I have braved the Fade before. Perhaps I can aid him. You have been so kind to us. Fainriel thinks of you as a true friend. Marith Harry is coming to perform the ritual that will bring Fainriel back. His childhood things here will help anchor him. Perhaps this is something best left to the Circle. I've already called for the Keeper. We need to begin the ritual as quickly as possible. Would you like to stay here, or return when she arrives? I've got a few things to finish first. Yes, I suggest you settle your affairs. Once you are in the Fade, the only way to emerge is with my son. So you're a prince, are you? That is apparently true. There's doubt? I've accepted the burden. That's all that matters. Why do you ask, Guard Captain? The entitled types are always trouble. In that case, I'm glad I don't count myself as one. They never do. 
Thank the creators you came back in time. Marathari's here. I came quickly, Ariane. I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is. The magic he possesses makes him what the Tevinters called Somniari, a dreamer. Dreamers have the power to control the beyond, what humans call the Fade. Fainreel is the first in two ages to survive. Why are they so rare? Dreamers have great power in the Fade. They attract demons. Luckily, most prove too frail of mind to survive a demon's possession. A dreamer abomination would be near unstoppable. Is there a difference between the Beyond and the Fade? They are the same. By either name, the Fade is the realm of spirits, Thedas' heart. While the mortal realm is its strong arm. The demons who live there covet the bodies of mortals, and seek to possess them. Only mages ever touch the Fade in a waking state. Others see it in dreams. What can a dreamer do? Dreamers are unique for their ability to enter the Fade at will, without the aid of Lyrium. In the Fade, they can shape dreams, and even affect the world beyond the Veil. Tevinter Somniari used to enter the minds of sleepers and slay them in their dreams. What exactly are we going to do here? The Elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari arts. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. We will use Fainreel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the Vale. Just send me into the Fade. I told you her courage was legendary. Now, Ariane, please excuse us. We must prepare. Oh, of course. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. You're really not my type. This is a serious matter. Fainreel cannot become an abomination. The destruction he would cause is unimaginable. If you cannot save him from the demons, you must kill him yourself. A death in the Fade will make him what your circle calls tranquil. He will be no threat after. I will not let him become a danger. I wish you luck. Now. Gather a team, and we will begin. Choose carefully, for all will face temptation. I cannot join you in this. The Fade is no place for men of faith. I worry what a journey to the Fade might bring out in me. I can't imagine what aid I could offer in a realm of dreams and magic. Let us begin.
Let us remain no longer than we must. Nothing here is real. Come, Bane Real must be trapped further in. Slow place, the fade. Not many surprises. I wasn't sure I'd like this one, but it has potential. Do not trust it. It is a thing that will lure you in if it can. Call me Torpor. I have a proposition that might interest you. I will not give in to temptation, fiend. Have it your way. Here we go! You'd think the Templars would feel some kinship with the gods, Lord. This is not the order Wesley showed me. My people, I present to you our hope. His features may mark him as human, but in his heart beats the blood of the Dales. He came to us to learn his heritage, to release the power from a lineage as ancient as our race. I... I don't know what to say. This is a trick. First Enchanter, what are you doing here? Mother told me the Dalish are honorable. Why would the Keeper lie? Why would she entrust her people to a human? You are one of us, Fainreel. Your magic will restore our greatness. But you told me this magic was outlawed for a reason. Even the Dalish don't practice it anymore. Could the Elves trust you with the power to shape reality? I... Could you trust yourself? Don't listen to him. The first enchanter is trying to keep you from realizing your greatness. Trying to keep me from temptation? Just like you were. You're not the keeper. Be gone, fiend. You. Why did you interfere? Change the world. There can be no honest deal with a demon. No? You think I will lie then, when I offer your friends what Fainriel turned down? You think this slave would choose you over his freedom? Cast your eyes elsewhere, demon. I won my freedom from the Magisters long ago. But you fear them still? They've left their marks on your body and your mind. With my aid, you could be free forever. You could have power enough to challenge any who would chain you. How transparent can you get? But... to face them as an equal, I... What... would you want from me? A moment of your time, nothing more. Not today. Close 
That's it, Fainriel. Hard on the downstruck, then lift. Good. I'll have you scribing all my letters soon. If I'd known you were such a brave lad, I'd have brought you into the business years ago. Does that mean I can come with you to Antietam, father? Mother said maybe this summer. Right, mother? Your father never wanted anything to do with you. Don't trust him. Why are you lying to me? Don't listen, son. She's always been ashamed of you. She wanted you gone, so she could go back to the dailies. I'm the one who loves you. But... Why can't I remember you? This is a trick, Fenrir. He wants something from you. Why... That's right. I spent my whole childhood waiting for you. Your mother never allowed. My mother loves me. She showed me the letters she wrote you. You never wrote back. And it was mother who taught me to write, not you. I've never met you before. Who are you? Don't... question... me. him against me and now you're going to die take away my pets and I'll take away yours how loyal are these friends you drag into the fade would your pirate queen stay if the open water beckoned what do you say sweetheart a two last brigantine square main top sail a hundred well-built lads to answer your every whim. I know you've been looking for a stiff masthead. Mm. 
Should I turn around now to let you stab me in the back, or would you rather it be a surprise? You are just the sweetest. The sign's call to awaits in Kirkwall Harbor. I'll be under the furs in the captain's quarters. I like big boats, I cannot lie. And here we go again. I'm not sure if this is real. If so, it is the second time I owe you my life. The fade feels different now. I see the stitches, the seams holding it together. I feel I could wake at any moment. Dreamers control the fade. ...and the dreams of people in it. I see why the Chantry fears us. I've heard tales of Magisters who stalk their enemies... ...and use their own dreams to destroy them. You're right. I must master it. Find someone to study under. The Dalish do not have what I need. Perhaps to Vinter. If these powers can be trained, it would be there. Perhaps is not a plan. Who faces his next demon? My mother would not look kindly on such a journey. Can you give her my farewell? May the Maker guide your path, Thainril. Perhaps... ...there is a way out of this. I can do this. Fainrail has mastered his powers. Then he lives. You saved him. I cannot thank you enough. Keeper Marathari, may I return with you to the Sunderlands? I would like to ask for my son's forgiveness. Of course. It was you who chose to stay away. He must go elsewhere to train. There is no one in Kirkwall to help him. He asked me to say goodbye. My son? No. I must find him before he goes. It is wise for him to seek guidance. Kirkwall cannot provide what he needs. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. And I must apologize for my weakness. I would have thought myself above such influence. Does this mean I'm not getting my ship? Bugger it all. Your friends awakened here some time ago. We all have weaknesses the demons find. You accomplished a miracle with Fainrail. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our tribe. It has a rare magic beyond price. Please, accept it with my gratitude. I never have affairs with my crew. Once they see you naked with your ass in the air, they think they don't have to take orders. <laughs> Men. Oh, 
You have to be twice as tough to earn half as much respect. So did the crew member mutiny? I mean, after you... You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I had the offending member removed. That got rid of the attitude. I... Oh, look, it's Hawk. I like big boats. I cannot lie. Really, Isabella? Well, I do. Blighted Demon knew it, too. I'm sorry I abandoned you in the Fade. That was foolish of me. I mean, I didn't even get the ship in the end. I don't blame you. I understand what it's like to be under the influence of a demon. You... what? That's it. No angry rant. Are you trying to get me to jump into bed with you? Because it's working. Friends forgive each other. Now you're making my insides feel squishy. Oh, go away. Drinking from their tub again, huh? You meant to when you're dealing with this lot. Let's see how you like drop men pinching. So you freed a group of slaves? Would-be slaves. They weren't slaves yet. Still, you did the right thing. Many would turn a blind eye. Don't read too much into it, all right? It just seemed a good idea at the time. I'm giving it all up. I made a vow to the Chantry, and it was wrong to turn my back. Sebastian, listen to yourself. You're as impulsive now as the day you turned away from us. Do you think the Maker wants another rashly spoken vow that you'll abandon when the next passion takes you? I will not. This is your life, child. Don't spend it being blown about like a weather vane. But here's Hawk. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. I don't think sense is really my strong suit. How long has she spent telling me to return to the Chantry, and now that I want to, she won't take me? It was wrong for me to break my oath to the Chantry. I've turned against the Maker. And for what? Why would I want to rule Starkhaven and deal with jackals like Lady Harriman for the rest of my life? Do you see yourself as a prince or a priest? That's exactly the question I've been praying for guidance about. When I think of going to Starkhaven, calling on allies like Flora Harriman and all the corrupt, scheming nobles, my throat swells shut in horror. When I think about staying, I'm at peace. Nobody tells a prince what to do, or who to do it with. Hawk, you... Don't think I'm not tempted, but I can't. I knelt and swore before the Maker that I would take no bride but Andraste. I'm just talking about two people, one night and forgetting all your troubles. If I broke my vows to be with you, I wouldn't be worthy of you. I already have enough sins to atone for.
You're wise to stay here. No one trusts a man who breaks his oath. I cannot return to Starkhaven and subject my people to war without a clear sign that it's the Maker's will. Patients need me more than anyone in High Town. Don't come running to me next time you pick up one of these diseases. Isn't that the point of magic? I don't want to know. Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. The Templars are hunting you? Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. We haven't talked much recently. How have you been? Good. I just love what Knight Commander Meredith's done with the place. The curfews. The midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. Is that making it harder for you? With justice? In the Fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. And I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger has made of my friend. You chose to merge with him. Only you can make it work. I am trying. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've helped the mages here as best I can, but this impasse cannot last. One day, everyone in Kirk will, will have to choose a side. I'm told your expedition is quite... Proper. The Canary must like it here, to stay so long. 
You're glaring, Anders. Is there a reason, or is it one of your moves? Your term as captain hasn't been particularly mage-friendly. I've only turned a handful over to the Templars. Every despot starts somewhere. And yet I allow an abomination to whine at me. Credit where it's due. I've got something for you, Varric. My father's signet ring. Where did you find it? Bartrand pawned it off to pay for the expedition. I can't believe you found it. This sounds exactly like the sort of fake thing I'd make up about you. When you tell people, mention that I got it from the belly of a dragon. I'll throw in a couple of werewolves and a griffin for balance. Well, I guess I'd better start answering my mail for Morzammar. I swear if I read one more page about golems. Anyway, I owe you one, Hawk. Remind me later to put you on my tab. Hunters. Stop right there! You are in possession of stolen property! Back away from the slave now and you'll be spared! Fenris is a free man! I won't repeat myself! Back away from the slave now! I am not your slave! <laughs> Tell me! I don't know. I don't know, I swear. Adriana brought us. She's at the holding caves north of the city. I can show you the way. No need. I know which ones you speak of. Then let me go. I beg you. I swear You chose I won't... the wrong master. Uh. Hadriana. I was a fool to think I was free. They'll never let me be. This is someone you know. My old master's apprentice. I remember her well. A sniveling social climber that would sell her own children if she thought it would please Daenerys. If she's here, it's at his bidding. I knew he wouldn't let this go. Then why are we standing around? The holding caves held slaves in the old times, but apparently they are no longer abandoned. We must go quickly, before Hadriana has a chance to prepare, or flee.
is ever easy. That's enough! We must be careful. There were many such holdings once, especially in the mountains where individual slavers kept private pens. They were designed to protect against raids by fellow slavers. No doubt it's why Hadriana chose this place. Do slavers attack each other often? They did. What better way to find slaves than to steal them? The holdings outside of Tevinter have mostly been abandoned, but they still exist. Adriana won't escape us. Let's hope this isn't a waste of time. They're still here. Good. Legacy of the Magisters. They sacrificed the unwilling. Is that so hard to believe? You're only a step away from it yourself. That's not true. Believe Now we fight! <laughs>
Are you hurt? Did they touch you? They've been killing everyone. They cut Papa, bled him. Why? Why would they do this? These poor people. This is ghastly. The Magister, she said she needed power, that someone was coming to kill her. We tried to be good. We did everything we were told. She loved Papa's soup. I don't understand. Is the Magister still here? I think so. The Magister said they were to prepare for battle. I think she's very frightened. She has every reason to be. Please don't hurt her. She'll be so angry if you hurt her. This has been terrible for you. Everything was fine until today. It wasn't. You just didn't know any better. Are you my master now? No. But I can cook. I can clean. What else will I do? If you go to Kirkwall, I can help you. Yes? Oh, praise the Maker. Thank you. I didn't realize you were in the market for a slave. I gave her a job, Fenris. Ah, then... that's good. My apologies. Let's find Hadriana and be done with this place. There's only one person I want dead more. I have information, Elf, and I will trade it in return for my life. Ha! <laughs> the location of Daenerys. What good will that do me? I'd rather he lose his pet pupil. You have a sister. She is alive. You wish to reclaim your life? Let me go, and I will tell you where she is. This is your call. So I have your word. I tell you, and you let me go. Yes. You have my word. Her name is Verania. She is in Carinus, serving a magister by the name of Eremon. A servant, not a slave. She's not a slave. I believe you. <gasps> We are done here. 
Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. This could be a trap. Daenerys could have sent Hadriana here to tell me about this sister. Even if he didn't, trying to find her would still be suicide. Daenerys has to know about her and has to know that Hadriana knows. But all that matters is I finally got to crush this bitch's heart. May she rot, and all the other mages with her. Maybe we should leave. Don't comfort me. You saw what was done here. There's always going to be some reason, some excuse why mages need to do this. Even if I've found my sister, who knows what the Magisters have done to her. What has magic touched that it doesn't spoil? I... need to go. I've been thinking about what happened with Hadriana. I took out my anger on you, undeservedly so. I was not myself. I'm sorry. I had no idea where you went. I was concerned. I needed to be alone. When I was still a slave, Hadriana was a torment. She would ridicule me, deny my meals, pound my sleep. Because of her status, I was powerless to respond, and she knew it. The thought of her slipping out of my grasp now. I couldn't let her go. I wanted to, but I couldn't. I'm glad you killed her then. I should be happy now that Hadriane is dead. Instead, I feel nothing but... disquiet. This hate. I thought I'd gotten away from it. But it dogs me no matter where I go. To feel it again. To know it was they who planted it inside me. It was too much to bear. Ah, but I didn't come here to burden you further. We're friends, Fenris. I'm not certain I know what that is. There's an elven woman here, Messer. She claims she was sent here by you. I, uh, I didn't know what to tell her. Why? Greetings, mistress. Your home was difficult to find. I've never been out on my own before, but I found it. Many people know of you. I hope I've made myself useful. I've already begun cleaning, and I can cook. Not as good as Papa, but a little. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? If you're staying here, Orana, it will be as my servant. You mean, I won't be a slave anymore? You'll be paid, like anyone else. I... a slave is all I've ever been, like Papa and Grandpapa before me. I'll try to be a good servant. Thank you, mistress. You're too good to me. I hope all is well, mistress. Uh, yes. Well, look at... Your hound is a mark of nobility in Ferelden, is he not? I have heard that gaining a Mabari's loyalty is considered the ultimate proof of character there. That's kind of you to say. I think we make a good pair. A dog cares nothing for worldly power. The Maker would like to see us learn from them. Don't let it go to your head.
Boo! Ah, there he goes again. How he makes these things, I'll never know. I've never seen another dwarf like him. Does this run in your family? Not at all, but Sandal isn't really my son. I found him in the deep roads when I left Orzammar for good. Raised him as my own now. Isn't that right, my boy? I like Bodan. He's always been this way. Always collecting things and enchanting them. Strange, I suppose. Have you ever thought of finding out more? Well, I did. I brought him to the Circle of Magi about a year after we got to the surface. They called him a savant. But then they started giving him the eye like they were going to keep him, so we left. Not going back to those vultures. Sandals happy as he is. Sandals quite useful to have around. That he is. Also, I've always said. Oh, Maker knows what'll happen when I'm gone. I try not to think about it. I want some pie. You should really post some guards outside your estate, considering all the tr- I understand you are of noble birth. My father was a chevalier. He had to flee Orlais when his patron was murdered. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have been suited for the life of an Orlesian noblewoman anyway. But surely you wish it had been different? To be a lady of Orlais and not a city guardsman? Not for one moment. I'd rather kill a bandit and save a merchant's family than know the correct dance steps and which rouge is in fashion. Q, this is your fault. You and that blighter, Varric Tethras. You'll be the end of my boys. I don't even know who you are. Yevon, member in good standing of the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Not that it really matters to people like you. Whatever you think I did, I can fix it. My sons are lost in the deep roads because of stories about you. Your sodding glory and treasure. Don't you dare blame her. We both know this was Iwin's doing. If you want to keep your job, shut your mouth, woman. Your boys are grown men. It was their own decision. What exactly were they trying to do? It may be my fault, Monsieur. I've told them all the stories about you. You're the only one who knows where they went. They were following the path of your expedition. Please help me find them. Don't let my boys die down there. Sure, I'll look. How many Darkspawn could have come back in three years anyway? I should approve, but it seems like I save a lot of fools from themselves. Thank you, Masser. Those boys are my life. They entered the deep roads using the same passage you did. Please find them. I will see you rewarded for your efforts. So much work to do. This is 
the heart of Kirkwall, if you ask me. Get it! Try stabbing them! You don't like me, Guard Captain. I've no issue. So long as the fight over your title stays in Starkhaven. Exactly like that. Should I apologize? I take back what is rightfully mine. Whatever it takes, no matter the cost. It feels like you're blaming me for some personal experience of yours. I was at Ostagar. Good people die when they do whatever it takes. Good people know the necessity. Are you the Smith? I'm a Smith. Is Smith your name or your profession? Yep. Is Smith... Yep. I'll be going now. Quality armor. The best outside of Orzammar. some coin to share with your favorite uncle. The Maker didn't free me. I see you've been thinking about what I said. I freed myself. If the Maker did anything, he watched. Why should I thank him for that? Is it so hard to believe the Maker cares for you? Maybe he... Give you the chance to escape. It doesn't feel like the Maker cares for me, or anyone. We all make our own choices to do good as well as evil. That is our doing.
know, when I return to Starkhaven, you're welcome to come with me. And do what exactly? You're a fine warrior. So many souls waiting to be brought to the light. If you walk the paths of Sundermount, watch your steps, Yam. You don't know how I'm And I ran at Dalish crafting is second to none, I assure you. I've got something for you. Ooh. Did you get this from Master Island? Mythal, did I miss some important occasion? I'm so sorry, I'll make it up to you, I promise. I think I missed the elvish sign for this present induces terrible guilt. I'll shop more carefully in the future. I... Of course. You're just being thoughtful. No one has ever given me a present before. Useful things. Tools or clothes. Because I needed them, not... just because. Maseranus. I'll find a good place for this. By the Dread Wolf! Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? It's clean sometimes, I swear. This wasn't presumptuous, but I added your husband's name to the memorial wall in the Chantry. Wesley? But... you never knew him. He was a Templar. He refused to abandon. Are you one of Yevin's sons? Mistress Hawk? Please help me. My brother... Marin. 
Iwan locked him in with the Darkspawn. He sealed the door. Left me here and bolted for that passage. He's gone mad. All he cares about is that damned sword. Last time I was here, we picked this place clean. What's your brother looking for? Iwan called it the Heart Drinker. He says it's the masterwork of an ancient smith from this taig. He bought a book from one of the Orzammar caravans. It had the location of the sword. Or at least to the golems who guard it. Another greedy dwarf. You think he took lessons from Bartrand? Maybe I should have seen this coming. Iwan has been obsessed with that thing. He wouldn't tell us about the sword, but I never imagined he'd leave us to rot. He cannot possibly justify trading his brother's life for a mere length of steel. Please. I don't want my brother to be eaten by those monsters. Get back to the surface. Looks like I have a date with the Darkspawn. Just point the way and we'll take care of it. He's on the other side of that wall. You need to find a way to reach him. Please, come tell my father as soon as you have news. I'm glad you returned safely from the Fade. Stone, I thought I was done for. Wait, you... You're Mistress Hawk. I can't believe it's you. I had no idea the Deep Roads would be like this, that the Darkspawn would just be... everywhere. I've heard the stories, but... it's not the same as actually being down here. Any longer and the Darkspawn would have had you. I was a fool to think we could do this by ourselves. I knew Iwan was up to something. He got so evasive every time I asked about the Blighted Sword. I still can't believe he betrayed us. Do you think he's alive? Let's get you out of here before the Darkspawn return. Of course. I can't thank you enough for coming when you did, Messer. You know, I never realized what the Dwarves in Orzammar are up against. They fight these monsters every day of their lives. 
I don't think I can sit by and let my people die while I enjoy the easy life of a merchant. Not anymore. Come find us when you return. I'm sure Father will want to thank you for saving me. the creatures it controls are further down this path. Smash the chest. Maybe there's still something to salvage in this mess.
Darkhaven called for its lost prince, Sebastian. Would you give up if the city has moved on? Life is around you. This fell into my hands. You've been reading. It's a good tale. I'm inspired by the Warden Alistair. But I doubt that's how you see dogs. I don't intend to let anyone die restoring me to my place, Avalon. The risks are mine. And that will have to satisfy. It was well said. I give you that. We'll see. Pardon me. What have I done now? You look like you wish to scold me. I just can't fathom why you're still in Kirkwall. For six years you've been claiming you'll retake your parents' lands. You're smart. You'd be a capable ruler. What are you waiting for? I don't know if it's the right thing to do. Do we ever get to know that? You saved Marin. I don't... Iwan, he's not with you. I had hoped... Father, I told you it would be too late. He tried to kill Marin and Emrys, and you're sad he didn't make it? His betrayal isn't lost on me, Dira. But he'll always be my son. You've given me back two of my boys, Messer. I'm in your debt. Please, take this as thanks. Avoid with this. I can never remember what Mr. Swan is. Did you ever run the wilds, boy? Kirkwall is no city for a breed used to open spaces. Nice as your estate is, it's not healthy for a Mabari to be cooped up. May I take him to the barracks time to time? He could help train my guards. Good idea. He'll put the fear of dog into them. Good. I think it's time they face down a good old Mabari charge. How about it, boy? Wanna chew on some recruits? <coughs> it's strange living here again. My child at home. Now owned by my child. It's not something I could have imagined when I was a little girl staring out this window. I'm still grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate. I feel like an Amel again. Just don't go all pompous on me, all right? I promise. If there's one thing I learned in Ferelden, that good people can be born in a hut as easily as a palace. Honestly, after so many years as a peasant's wife, it feels strange to have nothing to do. 
I visited Carver with the Templars, and he's so proud of his new knighthood. I guess I just need to start picking you out a suitable husband. Sorry, I was expecting treasure, not spiders. Get well soon, love, well Isabella. Why do... Why let her drag me into these things? Good day, sir. I wish the guards weren't so admitted.
Don't touch anything. I've arranged all of the papers up to bed. Fine day, Sarah. It's different here as captain. Feels like family. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Boiling in oil. Uh, too prosaic. Trapped in a cave with hungry bears right at the spring thaw. That lets him off too easy. Dipped in molten gold and left as a statue in the Viscount's keep. Ooh, that's poetic. What are you two talking about? What to do to Bartrand when I find him. Any suggestions? If you're here to see Karen, it's not worth the effort. Wilmud, Karen, and I were close once, and now, Wilmud's dead. Karen kidnapped, then discharged from the Order. The Night Captain did what he had to, but at great cost. I've heard his family is in deep with a Tevinter moneylender near here, Sinestra the Snake. Karen's father is too proud. His children don't even know. If I were rich enough, I'd pay off the debt myself. But there is an alternative. And I take it this alternative involves me. Go on. Sinestra, by all accounts, is a cancer on our most downtrodden. Make her preserve me, but I believe the world would be a better place without her. If you help Karen, I vow I'll send you what coin I have. I... I must go. Why do so many mages insist on running away from us? Where do they think they'll go? They got Grace and the others. Brought them back here. <laughs> They put the Tranquil on display out here to intimidate other mages. You're looking well. My store is much better stocked thanks to you. If you're interested in hunting down more ingredients, I can make other creations. And of course, I'll pay you for your work. Sure. Just let me know what you need. Perfect. I have a list of ingredients right here. Welcome back to Seoul. of the Stark sure Haven mages were made like Please do not bother the recruits. You want... Daggers! Got them too! I can't keep the Lyrium on the docks. The Knight Commander found Grace and the other Stark Haven. Hawk! 
The new scion of the Amel family. Congratulations. Anyway, what can I do for you? Is there anything I can help the Templars with? Oh, you're kind to offer, but after what happened with Tirani three years ago, the Knight Commander has closed ranks. Our own men undergo weekly questioning, and she's eliminated all work with outsiders. It's hard to keep recruitment up enough to maintain our numbers. Everyone seems concerned about the Kunari. What's the Templar stance? They are heathens. They will stop at nothing less than the eradication of the Chantry. But we can't know the immediate goals of the Kunari in Kirkwall. Should it come to open conflict, we are the largest army in the city. We will be the ones to lead its defense. I keep hearing about the Knight Commander. When do I get to meet her? I'm afraid she's become more reclusive since you came to Kirkwall, Hawk. These last three years, especially, she's been very suspicious of outside influences. I almost wonder if something happened. I heard Sir Ulrich place the order for me to be made to drink quickly. You light switch. Hello, Emmerich. The guard captain says you're still chasing disappearing acts. That's not funny. I need your help urgently. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Lynette, Marin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gascard Dupuy. Dupuy? That's a funny name. It's Olesian. I believe he is descended from nobility. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. My men raided that house. There was nothing, and I've heard no end because of it. You were reprimanded, I hope. Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. Were you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard... Well, they rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. I've seen your evidence. Scattered notes, conjecture, nothing remotely usable. You can't expect us to act on your hunches alone. Look what happened when we did. The guards who searched Gascard's place were incompetent. They didn't know what they were looking for. Fine, if you insist. I retrieved a sack of human remains for you. Didn't you show it to the guard? I did. They said the remains could have been gathered together by scavengers looking for bits of gold and jewelry. They said there was no way to tell if the remains even belonged to the missing women. I'm sorry, Emmerich, but that's the truth of it. What have you learned about Gascard Dupree? He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He knew two of the murdered women and made inquiries about the others. It cannot be a coincidence. It should be investigated, at least. Thank you. I faced nothing but ridicule. To hear someone say that is... encouraging. What do you need me to do? I knew I could count on you. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis' estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple.
been loyal to the order. I hear the commander's making that his mate is doing peculiar things to him. How long do we have to wait on our Lyrium? Your two people, Anders and Justice. That's not strictly accurate. But you are of two minds. Many people are. Now you're the one not being accurate. I thought those were the rules of this game. I never know who I'm talking to with you. Then it's fortunate it doesn't occur often. For Elven, still a shadow of a boy, but he was. What do you need, love? Package delivery? I'm Hawk. I got a letter from some mage friends. I see, I see. Check the back of the board for our special rates. Helping apostates is dangerous. If the Templars caught you... One of my sisters is a mage. A gentle child, so generous. She was made tranquil last year. Templars claim she was a danger. Now... It's like she's not there. That shouldn't be forced on anyone. I won't stand by while mages suffer. Bless you, love. The board has all the details. Should you take care of something, just drop by. In the market for something special, friend? Rich for Elder. Still a shadow of Val Royale, but he presses me here. You are Hawk. A patrol went missing along the wounded coast. The Arashok says you have some semblance of honor. So tell me, did you kill them? If I did kill them, why would I tell you? You'd just attack me. I seek an answer to a question. What has happened to the missing Karatam? Vengeance is not relevant to this task. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I believe you. If you are not responsible, I waste my time here. It seems the Kunari aren't exactly in a hurry to return home. Sarah Hawk. Messer? Last we met, I did not know your name, did not care to. You have changed your fortune over the years. The Kunari have not. I offer a courtesy, Hawk. Someone has stolen what he thinks is the formula for Gatlock. You will want to hunt him. Excuse me, but this sounds like quite the feat. It was allowed. A stolen formula was a decoy. Sarkamek, a poison gas, not explosives. A small amount is dangerous enough to your kind, but if made in quantity, perhaps by someone intending to sell it. That merchant, Javaris. Would he be cautious? Or would he assume success and make enough to threaten a district? 
A courtesy hawk. You will want to hunt him. Any idea where we can find Javaris? I heard about a sell-off. Merchant territories and such. They don't do that unless someone left in a hurry. I'd have figured he'd rooked some noble. He's sure not a burglar. Just tell me where he is. I haven't kept up on the squirt. Ask the coterie. Panahedon, Hawk. It will be interesting to see if you die. mentioned that I hate this part of town? Maker, help me. I'd rather go to the Merchant's Guild. I'm here about Karen's family debt. Is it Saturnalia already? Hawk just strolls over here. A lot of people would pay dearly to see you face down in the gutter. And who am I to deny them that? Kill them, boys! Get ready! I have been thinking about what happened in the Fade. That a demon could have played so easily on my fears... ...disturbs me. I failed you. I won't let that happen again. The demon was using magic on your mind. It's as simple as that. And yet she didn't manage to influence you. As for the boy, we shall see what he becomes... ...and if he regrets the mercy you provided. But that is not important now. Let's just hope we face nothing similar in the future.
last bottle of the Egregio. I've been saving it for a special occasion. And what's that? The anniversary of my escape. Astia Vala Fermundis. Care to hear the story? I enjoy listening to you talk. <laughs> there are few pleasures greater than speaking with a beautiful woman. Let's see. You've heard of Saharan? The Imperium and the Kunari have fought over the island for centuries now. I was there with Daenerys during a Kunari attack. I managed to get him to a ship, but there was no room for a slave. I was left behind. I barely got out of the city alive. I thought Daenerys considered you valuable. <laughs> he wasn't given a choice. The look on his face as the ship pulled out was priceless. There are rebels in the Saharan jungles called Fog Warriors. They found me and took me in, nursed me back to health. I stayed with them for a time, until Daenerys finally came for me. He was relieved to see you'd survived, right? Relieved to see his investment hadn't ended up in Kunari hands, perhaps. I'd grown fond of the rebels. They bowed to no master and fought for their freedom. It was beyond my experience. When Daenerys came, they refused to let him take me. He ordered me to kill them. So I did. I killed them all. Why would you do such a thing? It felt inevitable. My master had returned and this, this fantasy life was over. But once it was done, I looked down at their bodies. I felt... I couldn't. I ran and never looked back. Didn't Daenerys stop you? The rebels had wounded him. The soldiers he brought attempted to capture me, unsuccessfully. It was weeks before Daenerys was able to mount the hunt in earnest, but by then, I was already gone. Couldn't you have found other Fog Warriors? Become a rebel? Even if I did, I felt... unworthy. I had no way of knowing if I could truly escape from Daenerys then. I didn't even know what that meant. I simply had to get away. I stowed aboard a ship to the mainland and moved south, chased by my former master every step of the way. How well did you know these Fog Warriors? I knew them only a few months, but in that time, I felt as if I truly lived. They were bold, strong, free with their affections. I was in awe of them, and owed them everything. And I turned on them even so. I have to wonder why you stayed with Daenerys as long as you did. You have not been a slave. A slave does not dream of freedom or wonder at possibilities. You think only of your master's desires and what the next hour will bring. It did not occur to me that I could be anything else until I had a taste of it. But there are stories of slaves rebelling all the time. They did in Kirkwall. The ritual that gave me my markings also stripped me of my memory. Whatever I was before may as well have never been. Perhaps if I knew, I might have felt differently. This can't be easy to talk about. I've never spoken about what happened to anyone. I've never wanted to. Perhaps this is what it means to have a friend. It might mean more than that. I... have never allowed anyone too close. When my markings were created, the pain was... extraordinary. 
and the memory lingers. But you are unlike any woman I have ever met. With you, it might be different. Are you saying what I think you're saying? If there was someone before, I have no memory of it. There was no one after you escaped, even. I stayed nowhere for long. Who would I trust? I didn't think I needed anyone. Or wanted anyone. Until now. We could find out. On another evening, perhaps. A last toast, then. To the Fallen! thinking of you. In fact, I've been able to think of little else. Command me to go, and I shall. No need. Was it that bad? I'm sorry, it's not... It was fine. No, that is insufficient. It was better than anything I could have dreamed. Your markings... They hurt, don't they? It's not that. I began to remember... My life before, just flashes. It's too much. This is too fast. I, I cannot do this. Your life before? What do you mean? I've never remembered anything from before the ritual. But there were faces, words. For just a moment, I could recall all of it. And then it slipped away. Don't you want to get your memories back? Perhaps you don't realize how upsetting this is. I've never remembered anything. And to have it all come back in a rush, only to lose it. I can't. I can't. You're going to leave? I'm sorry. I feel like such a fool. All I wanted was to be happy. Just... For a little while. Forgive me. Uh, I think I'll let Sandal empty that. I see Varric's taken it upon himself to add certain embellishments to my journal. You take good care of us, don't you? Want some pets? I bet you do.
Blondie, Sunshine, Daisy, Ravaney. What am I? Beg your pardon? You don't call anyone by name except for me. Where's my name? <laughs> Well, when you think of one, let me... the outdoors type. The sooner we're back in the city, the happier I'll be. You are in a strange place, Ferelden. Tell me about it. Knowing is half the battle, and it's not the only
mana. It's done. Quickly, before more guards come. Terry said she'd find a way to rescue me. I will never forget this. is a very pretty name. I'll tell her you said so, Daisy. She can't actually hear you, can she? Of course she can. What kind of question is that? Wait, are we talking about your crossbow or something else now? So I hear you've been visiting the Viscount's gardens, Daisy. Oh, they're enormous. And they're always empty. Why don't more people go to see them? Turn up your Probably because they're private and surrounded by guards. I thought all those men looked a bit cross. You're selling the assets of Javaris Tintop? We are. Limited district, limited contracts. Keeps territory clear and separate from the start. He had a meager lot, but he skipped with dues outstanding. So up it goes. Sounds like he's made a few friends. Can one of them point me his way? Ask that about anyone else I'd have you thrown out. This one, he owes me too. Javar is left in a hurry. I'd put him at Smuggler's Cut if he's avoiding patrols. It empties at a cave outside town. Tell him I said... Don't come back. Not the trail I'd expect from a master thief. Just saying. Used to work the docks.
want you.
always where you need. You're pathetic! My hand at that? See his pie. Javaris. You're not dead yet. You? Granny's garters, she would hire you. I can't buy a break on discount. You know what? Go ahead. Take my head and pike it back to that sodding elf. I need the rest. The canary powder. It's not what you think. It's poison. Wait. You're tracking for the canary. And she did it. That elf got them after me for nothing, bitch born. Ah, I knew he was no burglar. We're not climbers. Look, I'm minding business, same old. And out of the blue, some elf tries to kill me. Says she's got the Kunari powder and I'm her cover. I slipped her, hired some bodyguards and ran for it. And now you're here. Great. If you're innocent, you could plead your case to the Arashok. Let's break this down. An elf with explosives wants me dead. Part two, the Kanari may think I'm a thief and also want me dead. Either option seemed promising? Didn't think so. Here, wanna drag Dark into light? I had a man follow her. The elf's in Lowtown. I just wanna get out with my dead guards. Thanks for that. Better luck wherever you're bound, Javaris. The farther, the better. Right. Got me a rosy future to plan out. Think I'll start by selling some boots. Sodding bunch of... Take a long breath on a short shaft, you blasted dog lord inroaders. I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? 
Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? I saw it and thought it would be perfect for you. It is. This is probably the only ship I'm going to have for a while. <sighs> How pathetic is that? Cooing over a model ship. Thank you, Hawk. This was a thoughtful gesture. All of you, I can't fight the damned air. You want to live, stay out. What's going on, Mason? Guard Captain, there's... I can't even describe. On your time, son. Reports of some haze with a stench of rust and throw up. There was a cloud, then a lingering mist. Anyone caught in the cloud just went mad. Then the others just wretched themselves dead. All right, keep your post. We'll take it from here. He's a good man. Trust that it's as bad as he says. Let's hope this elf didn't try to make enough powder to sell. Didn't sound like a merchant to me. Let's go. Maker. We need to stop this mist. Find the source.
easy. I'm just trying to find out what happened. Is that... Sarah Hawk? You have enemies. I'm glad it's you, really. <sighs> These poor people. You are a much better target. So, care to explain your particular brand of crazy? Kanari take my people. My siblings forget their culture, then go to the Kuhn for purpose. We're losing them twice. So I get some help from your people. We'll take the Kanari Thunder, make some accidents, and make them hate it. But this... This is all wrong! Which of my people put you up to the theft? It can still work. They're hidden in your city. They'll enrage the faithful and make sure the Kunari are blamed. Me, I'm finished. I just need a few more bodies. A few more. Right, and wrong. You need to know about this. I found your patrol. They won't be coming back. You have stolen my duty, Basra. We were supplied for this task, but you have done this instead. Take what was meant for us. It appears so. They say we were careless with our trap, that this is our fault. But even without the Sarkamek, there would have been death. This elf was determined to lay blame at our feet. Selfishness, want, denial. How do you allow this to continue? Most of Kirkwall hates you, as much as you hate being here. Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just... festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. We are hated? How do you not hate yourselves and this... chaos?
My welcome to the city was not so different from yours. And yet you suffer it. It's an opportunity to make a real difference. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. Could you, could not this entire city benefit from that certainty? How else will you know when you have made a real difference? He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be, as do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. Your kind may force our role to change, if the Kuhn demands. Why aren't you more concerned about her supporters? Our enemies strike from shadow because they cannot stand before us. This is not a revelation. And it doesn't matter. I am not here to fight. I am here to satisfy a demand you cannot understand. It's been a long time. It will take as long as needed. No ship is coming. There is no rescue from duty to the Kuhn. I am stuck here. You keep going on about that, but never say anything. Should I argue the wind? Very well. Filth stole from us. Not now, not the Sarkamek. Years ago. A simple act of greed has bound me. We are all denied Parvolin until I alone recover what was lost under my command. That is why this elf and her shadows are unimportant. That is why I do not simply walk from this pustule of a city. Fixing your mess is not the demand of the Kuhn, and you should all be grateful! Thank you, human, for your service. Leave. That's an oxman ready to charge. The Viscount should know. Have you seen an elf about? Short, blonde hair, slight build. You know the Tetris family businesses are registered in your cousin Elman's name? You don't say. Many thanks, but I can't find any records of you having a cousin Elman. I'll introduce you sometime. He's a little on the shy side. Varric, he's imaginary. Which may... I've got some news. 
You might not want to be near anything breakable when I tell you, though. Why don't I buy you a pint and we'll talk? You just keep making this harder. Although I won't say no to a pint if you're buying. I've had an ear out for Bartrand. After the deep roads, he ran to Ravane, probably because he knew I couldn't track him. But I hear he might be back in Kirkwall. He called in loans from a few of his contacts in Hightown. Was he staying in Hightown, or just passing through? If my information is good, and it's always good, he has a house there. Which gives us a good shot at having a word with my dear sweet brother. How are you holding up, Beric? <laughs> Me? My no-account backstabbing brother is practically in arm's reach. I couldn't be better. Would Bartrand really risk coming back here? I think we both know by now that Bartrand would risk anything for money. There's a much better market here for that trinket he stole. And all his contacts are in Kirkwall. We need some answers from your brother. I agree. Bianca's been missing him something awful. Let's stop by his new house. Welcome him back to the neighborhood and all that. This ale isn't as good as it used to be.
so much blood. This house looks abandoned. I don't get it. My sources saw people making deliveries here just a week ago. This... looks like it's been empty for months. This is still our best lead. We might find something that'll take us to Bartrand. My thoughts exactly. So that's how you greet your brother, is it, Bartrand? Fine. Say hello, Bianca. Piece of cake! I'm dead! Sons of bitches! Let's dance, you sons of bitches! Bartrand! I'm coming for you, you nug humping bastard! You want a piece of me? You want to get my order and shot in the <laughs> Let's dance, you sons of bitches! Fortress! <laughs> I'm coming for you, you nug humping bastard! <laughs> Let's dance, you sons of bitches! Fortress! <laughs> I'm coming for you, you nut humping bastard! Portrait! I'm coming for you, you nut humping bastard! <laughs> Let's dance! Sons of bitches! You wanna. Give me my brother. I was just jealous of you. How could I ever compete with you for mother's love? You're strong and handsome, and so very smart. What? Why lie now about this? What have you to gain? What do you want from me? I broke in, I found my brother, and it was awkward. Family business. No. I think there's more to it. <sighs> Fine. You want the gory details? I'll give you the gory details. These corpses aren't even stiff yet, Hawk. Somebody's been in here today. <laughs> These men, they were completely out of their heads.
Ancestors. Hold up. I know this man. He's Bartrand Stewart. Hugin, what happened here? Eric, your brother. That statue he brought out of the deep roads. Bartrand said it sang to him, even after he sold it. I've been hiding in here, but the guards, they're like crazed animals. I didn't dare go past them. Everyone in this house has gone mad. What did he do to the guard to turn them to this? He's been forcing them to eat lyrium. Some of the servants, he... cut pieces off them while they were still alive. He says he's trying to help them hear the song. Please stop him. Bartrand's not exactly a nice guy, but... this doesn't sound like my brother. You said he sold the statue. To whom? I don't know. It's why we came back to Kirkwall. He was already starting to rant about the sodding idol and his singing. On his better days, he hated the thing. Wanted to get rid of it. But the minute it was gone, he got worse. I haven't seen anyone alive in here except for guards. What happened to the rest of the staff? I don't know what Bartrand did to them. By the ancestors. The sounds coming from his study. They're dead by now. I hope. What do you mean you hope they're dead? Just whoever... whatever you find in that room. Varric, give them a merciful death. Everything will be all right. You're safe now. I wish I believed that, human. Bartrand took the servants and locked himself inside the study. No one's come out for days. And those sodding lunatics just keep prowling the halls. Then we go in after him. Come on, Hawk. Let's finish this.
sold the idol of that woman. It was a mistake. A mistake. Parchment, get a hold of yourself. Do you know where you are? Do you know what you've done? Back. You'll help me, won't you, little brother? Help me find it again. You were always a good one. Help you. Bartrand, you left me to die. You left all your men to die. And for what? Some trinket? Look at yourself. Look at what you've done to the men and women who served you. Where's your nobility, brother? Where's your dwarven honor? He doesn't look so good. I'm not sure he even knows we're here. I didn't come here just to leave without telling my brother he's a filthy nuglicker and demanding some answers. Why'd you do it, Bartrand? Were you already crazy before we even went into the Deep Roads? Or was it all the statue? I don't. A statue. It wants to be worshipped. It wants me. It wants me back. She stole it from me. For this. Who did you sell the idol to, Bartrand? She glittered like the sun, but her heart was ice. She will not feed it, not like I did. So good to know we can count on you for the clear answers. For three years, all I've wanted is to look him in the eye and get his answers. Why he abandoned us in that tig. What any of this was for. I guess there's nothing he could say that would make it right. He's beyond any healer's skill. Make it quick and end his suffering. Right. Still going to feel good pulling that trigger. Oh! Oh. Ah. Come on. I don't want to look at this place anymore. No. Something on your mind, Varric. I should thank you for your help with my brother. He was a jackass, and he tried to kill us, but... That was still the hardest thing I've ever done. He was never what you'd call nice. Or pleasant. Or hygienic. But he was my only brother. He was obviously suffering. You spared him a lot of misery. I hope you're right. I don't know if surface dwarves go back to the stone, or hang around singing hymns with Andraste, or what. I just hope wherever he is now, Bartran stays out of trouble. Any idea what really went on with him and that statue? 
The thing must be cursed. I don't know if it's magic or demons or the bile of the ancestors, but I think curse about covers it. If we're lucky, whoever he sold it to had the damn thing melted down for scrap. You think he'll badmouth us to the Maker? Haunt our houses? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. He always was the vindictive type. Anyway, thank you. I'll keep looking into who bought that blighted statue. At the very least, they need to be warned about what happened.
whoever. We stopped Emmerich from investigating by getting Meredith on his side. Hmm. Women's clothing. Perhaps they were taken off the murdered women. You're not... you're not him. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. So the wild-eyed hysteria is just for show, then? You don't understand. Someone is after her. I had to keep her safe. I don't know why you're here. But there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... just let me explain. All right. We'll see if you can talk yourself out of this. Twenty silver if he says, it wasn't me, it was the one-armed man. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alessa was going to be next. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. She'll go straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. I could report you to the Templars for blood magic. Yes, I've used blood magic and lyrium to augment my powers. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to. He took my sister from me. Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Of course he was. But I was trying to find the killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. He'll want to know what happened here. Tell him whatever you like. I'll be long gone by then. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Why? I don't want him arrested. This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Besides, they probably wouldn't even hear me out. I'm sorry, but it doesn't add up. I can't let you go. No. I've worked too hard. It can't end like this.
Hope all is well. Another message came while you were away. It's on your desk. I've been wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. But perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you. You've been through a lot. You deserve any joy you can find. Thank you, love. No one could ever replace your father. But it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age. You take good care of us, don't you? Want some pets? I bet you do. in one day, my boy. I promise. One day I'll see Papa again. You really ought to take that offer, Elf. It'd keep the coterie off your back pretty much permanently. I don't need employment. But it wouldn't kill you to make some friends in this city. Three years and you're practically a ghost. I prefer it that way. Healthy attitude there. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. There was no such arrangement. But you sent him a message. I still have it with me. I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. That's not a good sign. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding. Harlot's blush.
mage sent that thing here to kill him? Why would anyone... Oh, Maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was getting too close. He suspected a man named Gaspard Dupuis. Did he do this? Gaspard was only a small piece of the puzzle. I think he's innocent. <sighs> he should have believed Emmerich. I thought he was just trying for one last shot at glory. Whoever did this is a dangerous apostate that Meredith will want found. I will see to it personally. Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me. We should move on. I'm glad you returned safely from the Fade. Right behind you, Hawk. Please keep it quiet, sir. Years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a whole street. The Canari were blameless. Right. A mad elf, pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishok. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him. He's a hare from the edge. You need to keep everyone calm. Too late, I fear. It's a shame. He was making overtures of cordialness. Your influence, no doubt. What happened? A Kunari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing, almost literally, from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? We need to get out in front of this, and fast. I feel I've been trying to turn a stampede for some time now. Someone is pushing very hard. Speak with Seneschal Bran. Then you will see why I cannot trust anyone else with this. I don't know who would benefit from fighting the Kunari, but it will cost all of us. You have information about the missing Kunari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all, but that is neither here nor there. I'm having a hard time picturing the abduction of a Kunari entourage. Unfortunately, they were not at their best. Their swords were tied into their sheaths, as I advised. It seemed a respectful compromise. Even I know you cannot separate a Kunari from his weapon. Has anyone reported this to the Kunari? Maker, no. I'd be signing the messenger's death warrant. He'll find out soon enough, of course. And when he does, the Viscount is rightly concerned that the illusion of peace will dissolve. It sounds like you don't want them found. I must think of what is best for the Viscount's office. Bringing attention to such an incident benefits no one. You would do nothing? The Kunari are neutral hostiles at best. There is no relationship to salvage by overextending ourselves on their behalf. I'm sure you have suspicions about what happened. My concerns are well founded. This could not have escaped the notice of the city guard, unless they were involved. 
Not coincidentally, a number of recent recruits have failed to report. You should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. The Hanged Man. Hanged Man. Even I know that. Right. Then you know what to look for. I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Please keep this quiet. That call I can't have I heard about Lowtown. I can't believe the Canari has anything. Hawk, I need a favor that I can only trust to you. You can always ask. It should be a small matter, but I worry. I need you to give something to Guardsman Donick, here in the barracks. No questions, and he is not to know it's from me. Donick? The one we pulled from an ambush? The event that put me here. But this is... a different need of the Guard and its captain. And you're doing very badly at the no questions part. Very well, Eveline. If it means that much. Thank you. And please hurry back with his reaction. I appreciate this, Hawk. I really do. We should move on. Guardsman Donick. Sir our Hawk. It's been some time. You're here in Hightown now, right? I think the captain mentioned it. I see your uncle now and then on my patrols, but we don't talk. No ill effects from the ambush, I trust. They got me pretty good, I'll admit. But they fared worse, so I can't complain. Guard is a good career if you're careful. A short one if you're not. And the captain makes sure we're careful. I have it on good authority that you are going to enjoy this. Am I now? It's a copper relief of... Marigolds? Ah, and it helpfully says so. Marigolds. Well, how crafty. Is there a meaning to this that I should know? Tell me this wasn't a waste of my time. I can't do that. Right. I'm sure we both have things to do, of varying import. Sir Hawk. I'm not seeing the sense to this. You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. So, how did Donick react? As one might expect when confused. I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper ages well, flowers are soft. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. Don't talk to him again. Just take this, the patrols, for next week. Post it to the roster and just... listen. All right. Posting the roster just over there. I need to know exactly how he reacts. That's key. Thank you. So much doubt. Unusual, but clearly important. Hey, Donick! Whose pucker have you been greasing to get high town? What? You're daft. I'm working dockside on those smugglers. Says here you're guarding the square. Always been a make-work job, that one. You someone's pet? Check your eyes. It's a mistake. Says the pet. You have got to be kidding me. What did I do to get that post? Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. You wanted his reaction. 
All right. I can fix this. I need... I need three goats and a sheaf of wheat. You'll take them to his mother. It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. I think my jaw just landed in the deep road somewhere. Not a word, dwarf. I wouldn't dream of mocking your unconventional courtship. Aveline, you know you can talk to me. What am I to say? That a grown woman can't speak her mind? I've been focused on being captain for so long, that's all I know. But you were married, were you not? That was a long time ago. It was easier, or seemed to be. So you've been by yourself since we came to Kirkwall? I am diligent on behalf of my men. And I've neglected many other things. I can't imagine you having trouble speaking your mind. The guards are in my care. I hurt when they hurt. But Donick... I want him to know that I feel... But if something happened to him... Something already happened, and he's fine. If it made sense, I wouldn't need you. I feel paralyzed. I hate it. Sounds like you're ready to move on. It's been four years since Wesley. Stop trying to protect me. I've made my peace. You'd want me to live. I can drag him in here right now. Just say the word. Oh. And how would that look? The captain ordering her guardsmen to... to... It wouldn't help. There are places in this city where no one cares that you're a captain. What? Just go out somewhere. Like it's that easy. If you can't commit to even that, you may as well quit now. Wait, Hawk. Tell Donick. Invite him to the Hanged Man. Don't tell him about me. Make something up. It's a surprise, or just you, or a group, anything to get him there. He's not like the others. I don't want him to think he's meeting the captain. Sir Ardonic, are you free? I need to ask you something. I have no immediate patrols. Why? A night at the Hanged Man for all the guard. You'll come? Of course you'll come. Should I have heard of this? Very well, Sir Arhawk. I guess I'll be there. Never good to be the last to hear of these things. Good things are always happening to that bastard. Strangely, this is the best place in the city for working shell games and changing forged coins. Years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a whole street. The Canari were blameless. Right. A mad elf, pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishok. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him.
He's a hair from the edge. You need to keep everyone calm. Too late, I fear. It's a shame. He was making overtures of cordialness. Your influence, no doubt. What happened? A Kunari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing almost literally from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? I've had enough to do with the Arishok. I don't need this. None of us do, Sarah Hawk. Someone is pushing very hard, and I fear they want this to end badly. Speak with Seneschal Brown. Then you will see why I cannot trust anyone else with this. I don't know who would benefit from fighting the Kunari, but it will cost all. I love doing You have information about the missing Kunari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all. But that is neither here nor there. I'm having a hard time picturing the abduction of a Kunari entourage. Unfortunately, they were not at their best. Their swords were tied into their sheaths. As I advised. It seemed a respectful compromise. Even I know you cannot separate a Kunari from his weapon. It sounds like you don't want them found. I must think of what is best for the Viscount's office. Bringing attention to such an incident benefits no one. You would do nothing? The Kunari are neutral hostiles at best. There is no relationship to salvage by overextending ourselves on their behalf. Has anyone reported this to the Kunari? Maker, no. I'd be signing the messenger's death warrant. He'll find out soon enough, of course. And when he does, the Viscount is rightly concerned that the illusion of peace will dissolve. The Arashok is growing violent. He might want an excuse to end this peace. I suspect that if the Arashok wanted to take over, he simply would. For all we fear that heretical cune of his, its demands have done more to keep him in check than any of our efforts. Besides, would Kunari stoop to trickery? There is no precedent, but there is unfortunate evidence of influence on our side. I'm sure you have suspicions about what happened. My concerns are well founded. This could not have escaped the notice of the city guard. ...unless they were involved. Have any failed to report? Several. You should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty... ...I'm sure I don't know. The Hanged Man. Hanged Man? Even I know that. Right. Then you know what to look for. I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Please keep this quiet. The Viscount is under arrest. I do hope the Viscount is under Good luck getting in. I've been... I think I need a bath. Do you think I need a... You have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Don't the stories mention my stunning good looks? What about my cunning wit? Nope. They skip straight to the part about the lovable dwarf with the gorgeous crossbow and the heart of gold. I try to steer them straight, but... You know how stories go. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. What compels you to spin these ridiculous tales? 
I love the sound of my own voice. And I'm a compulsive liar. Honestly, I don't know. It's just something I do. There's power in stories, though. That's all history is. The best tales, the ones that last. Might as well be mine. I find it hard to believe you're spreading these stories without getting something in return. Well, that just shows what you know, Hawk. The stories are their own reward. You really need to see the look on someone's face when I tell them you ripped the arms off an ogre. <laughs> just once. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours? There's a recipe to a good hero, Hawk. It's like alchemy. One part down-to-earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. You let that percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done, you've got your hero. And exactly how many taverns have heard this particular story? I only frequent the nice ones, where it goes afterward is anybody's guess. You're beautiful, deadly, and hang out with fantastic dwarves. It would be a crime if people didn't talk about you. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. Simply, like everything from eating to fighting, is a lot It's been very... <laughs> Rich spending. It's a bit over your head, isn't it? That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed. And all I had to do was turn my head. To all my friends. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're gonna show this city what to do with heathen oxmen. Guard Captain, would you like to have a word with your man? Guard Captain? Who? What? <gasps> Who? Who what? I don't... Who bought you? Who bought the honor of a proud guard of Kirkwall and made him a drunken Mabari bitch? I, I don't... I don't know. He was a Templar, I swear. He had the seal of the Grand Cleric and everything. It's true. The penalty for abandoning your post is ten days on the wall. I expect you to report in the morning. Uh -huh. mm. There's your answer. A Templar. With the Grand Cleric seal, no less. Well done. I... you go first. I'll be right there. Just don't tell him this is about me. There were supposed to be others coming, right? Plans change, apparently. Right. Just give it a moment. Another round? Make a yes. Look, if this was all an attempt to get closer to me through the captain, um, you're just not my type. All this playing shy business. I like a little backbone. I have to go. Thanks for the drinks.
I... I couldn't do it. What did he say? He thinks I'm interested in him. I'm an idiot. Admitting it is a good step. Where are you heading next? The barracks, Ferelden, the deepest hole I can find. You've never been the hiding type. I know, all right, but I freeze up. The only place I'm not a mess is on patrol. And killing high women doesn't afford much opportunity for banter. It's ringing a little hollow, girl. I will not risk. Come on, look what you're denying the boy. You can't ignore advice from such a stable source. But I can't fight and talk. I'll clear the way, and you can see if he's the one. You're too good at this. Is it any wonder you've all but taken Hightown? You clear the route up the wounded coast, and I... will think of something to say. Getting you any closer to your ship. Huh? cute when you're blushing. So this route's pretty quiet? Yes, and it's a real nice night for an evening. Um, <laughs> as you say, Captain. <laughs> yes, as I say. Make her she's bad at this.
easy as five. If it isn't done right, the blade can be too soft. Quenching the steel is a vital step that can make or break a sword. Right. A blade for every purpose. What do you think about blades? I'm sorry, Captain. I drifted off a bit. Right, of course. <sighs> Painful. Well, Guardsman, good patrol. I think we're done, and I... Hawk, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Aveline. Hawk, don't. We don't have all night, you know. Would someone please tell me what's going on? You're a daft couple of... Oh, take a hint and bend her over a basin, will you? Captain? Uh... I should get back to the barracks. I thought we were friends. Friends sometimes push. I... I have to fix this. You'll file a complaint. Ask for a transfer. You. You're coming to the barracks to explain why you put him on the spot. Double time, Hawk. Or so help me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Maker. Where is Donick? I have to head this off before it goes to the Viscount. Maybe a formal apology. Something that shows the guards they can still trust me. You're their captain, not a golem. They expect you to have feelings. Not if they get in the way of the job. You don't know that. I won't be that stupid again. <clears throat> My apologies, Sir Ahawk, but I need a moment with the captain. Guardsman Donick. Please. Guardsman Donick did not file a complaint. This was all incredibly stupid, and you made it wonderful. I think you can safely claim both halves of that pair. You're sweet. I knew asking you was the right thing. Let's not make a habit of it. I just... There's no way I can ever repay you. Perhaps it's simple. Thank you. Hey, can I ask you something? Was there a moment when you thought I was beyond help? Not for a second. You don't lie very well. As far as you know. Shout when you need me, Hawk. I'll always be here for you. Just knock first. It's a fine suit. The finest. Break it down. Distribute it. The Viscount requires parade armor for his inspections. Then stuff it and mount it where he can see it. I wear the uniform of the guard. His Excellency will not be pleased. His Excellency can mount it. Trouble, Hawk? Seems like you have enough. You don't know the half of it. And why don't you, by the way? Why aren't you tail-deep in the problems of this city? Sure, you do good, but petition a title, take a job. The guard is always looking. That's a bit harsh, given my record. Maybe I'm just sick of being the first stop for complaints about people like you. People like me? Brands on about fortune hunters, mercenaries, disreputable professions without purpose. He's a clod, but sometimes... Well, it might be good if the city was a little more stable. Come on now. You'd really prefer the troublemakers stay home? All right. So maybe I don't want to be completely put out of business. And I don't even really mean you. But some people... They go on without regard and then act surprised when someone starts a circle. There are warning signs, you know. It's worth saying. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day.
I've got something to show you. Come and see. It's beautiful, isn't it? Of all the giant mirrors in your house, Meryl, this is easily the nicest. I knew if anyone would understand, you would. I've spent the last few years restoring this. One of my clan found it in the Brazilian forest, we think. Poor Tamlin. We never found him. Just the shattered pieces of the Alluvion. What are you trying to do with this mirror? At first, I just wanted to find Tamlin. But... It's been too long. Tamlin is probably dead by now. If he wasn't already. But still, I know it can help my people. I can at least recover this one small part of our heritage. This thing is what made the Keeper send you away, isn't it? The Keeper wanted me to destroy the fragment I kept. She said our ancestors meant it to be forgotten. But it's a Keeper's place to remember. Even the dangerous things. We argued. I... left. She's wrong. This mirror could teach us so much about who we once were. Do you think the mirror had something to do with Tamlin's disappearance? The ruin we trapped Tamlin to was full of traps and monstrous things. But we found no body. His trail ended at the broken pieces of Alluvion. What's an Alluvian? Long ago, the Elves had a kingdom. An empire that covered Thedas. And every city had an Alluvian. The mirrors let them communicate across their empire. But I don't know how exactly. My people have lost so much. We know almost nothing of the days before Arlathan. This is a piece of our history. I'm sure you wouldn't show something this dangerous to just anyone. It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or all tried to, with blood magic. The mirror won't hurt anyone. But it doesn't work. I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. And a rule in home. And my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. But you're afraid to face Keeper Marathari again. Exactly. You have no idea the Keeper. I, I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help me. You will, won't you? I'll go with you. Maseranus, I'll find some way to repay you, I promise. Right behind you, Hawk.
Do Dalish honestly not recognize the difference between demons and beneficial spirits? We've never thought of the Fade as the home of our gods. It is another realm, another people's home, no different or more foreign than, say, Ozumar. You can say that again. But have you never studied the types of demons? They break down very clearly into different sins. Spirits differ from each other. Just as you and Hawk and Isabella are all human. More or less. Dalish crafting is second to none. I assure you. You've returned. Is there something you need? Do you sell the ink you Dalish use for tattooing? How dare you? That ink is sacred. We would no sooner sell it to Shem than we would sell our own children. Keeper, you return to us, darling. Have you reconsidered this path at last? I... Go on. I'm with you. Thank you, Hawk. Keeper, I need the Arulin home, the ancient carving blade that Master Island keeps. I see. You wish to rebuild the Alluvian. You don't have to approve of it. I'm invoking Via Sula Varnan. I'll do whatever task you wish. Well, I'm glad to know I can still disapprove. It is your right. I will give you a service to perform if you insist. What did Meryl invoke? Our history belongs to all, Dalish child. So our clan's most cherished relics can be claimed by everyone. Any Dalish can perform a service for the clan and gain ownership of such an item. For a time. That is what Meryl has invoked. Even if she has chosen to live apart, she is still one of the people. What exactly is this thing we're asking for? It is an ancient carving tool, used by our wood shapers, passed down for countless generations. Our clan has carried it since before the fall of the Dales. It is as old as Arlathan itself. We appreciate your help. This means a lot to Meryl. I'm glad that Meryl has a friend in you, child. I hope you will look after her. I can take care of myself, Keeper. Yes, Dalen. I know. Avar Terrell has taken the lives of three of our hunters. It lairs in a cavern in the mountainside. Seek it out, slay it. No one else must fall to its anger. Do this for us. And I will give you the Arulin home. May the Dread Wolf never catch your scent. The cave must be near camp. The keeper would just warn the hunters away otherwise.
Why did this happen? Oh, Harshal. I am so sorry. I'll tell Inuria for you. My hand at that. We're good to go. Chandan, tread carefully, Lethaline. May the trickster never find you in the beyond. Is someone there? It's safe. You can come out. Hello? Praise Andrast. I mean the creators. I thought I'd never get out of... Meryl? Anethera, Paul. Are you hurt? Stay back. What do you want from me? Paul, what's wrong? I'm here to help. Stay back! Don't touch me! Be still. You'll attract the Vartero's attention. No! Keep away from me, monster! Creators, help me! Someone, please! Paul, no! We have to catch him. Hurry! Hold on, Paul. We're coming. Maybe it's not too late. You can help him, can't you, Anders? You can heal anyone. Meryl... He's gone. <laughs> Why 
Why did you run? You shouldn't have run. <laughs> what did you do to scare this man to death? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with demons and slitting your wrists. There was nothing you could have done. He was more afraid of me than the Vatero. Paul wasn't like the others. He was city-born. Worldly. He ran away from the Denerum and found us. I thought if anyone would understand, he would. This... something is very wrong. I want to see the Keeper. Maybe he was thinking, ah, Blood Mage! That seems the most likely scenario. Everyone looked at me in the camp when we arrived. What have they been saying about me? They must think I'm worse than the Blight. I've never hurt the clan. They had no reason to be afraid of me. None of this makes any sense.
could get another cat, you know. There's one in the low tone market with a litter of kittens ready to wean. You don't pay attention to Templars, Kunari, or politics, but you notice kittens. Templars, Quinari, and politics don't meow and attack your feet when you're buying food. Are there any tabbies? I'd like a tabby. The Varterol is dead. Maseranus. I'll breathe easier knowing that we will lose no more people to it. We found these. I'll return them to their families. We lost Paul. In the cave, he... He fled at the sight of me. Straight into the Vaterol. Many of the clan fear you will bring back the corruption. Or worse, from the mirror. And where did they get that idea? I am their keeper, Dale. It was my duty to warn them. It's still not too late for you to return to us. Reconsider. There's no need for you to live alone. Must we go over this again? You'll never accept what I'm doing. The Eluvian is a trap. It cost us Tamlin. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you really are? And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin home. Hawk. Because Meryl won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, don't let her do this. Thank the creators. I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. What did the Keeper mean? The mirror led you to blood magic. I... The shard I picked up was corrupted. I couldn't cleanse it without help. The Keeper refused. She said that it belonged to another time and should be left there. So I found a... spirit. It gave me the power to purify the mirror through blood magic. I've never heard of blood magic purifying anything. There's nothing inherently evil about blood magic. It's magic, like any other. Are you really that stupid? The power that contaminated the mirror was too strong to be driven out by normal means. If I had piles of lyrium lying about, I could have used that, but I didn't. I used what I had. Is it worth restoring this mirror if it turns your clan against you? You know what it's like to lose everything, Hawk. Not just our land and freedom, but history. Stories, language, magic, rituals. Even our gods are gone. It is a sacrifice, but if the mirror restores even one fragment of the past, it's worth it. I hope this helps you finish your work on the Alluvian. I don't think that's wise, Hawk. Whatever she's trying to do with that mirror, it's at the behest of a demon. No one asked you. Thank you. I knew you would understand. Let's be away from here. The others are giving me the evil eye. A storm is coming. I can smell it. Hawk, I could never have faced the Keeper myself. I never imagined a human would help me restore Dalish history. No one ever understood. 
Not the Keeper, not my clan. Just you. No offense to your people, Meryl. But anyone who runs into a monster to escape you has their priorities wrong. They... Just confused. But it doesn't matter, I'll still save them. You're the first real friend I've ever had. Maseranus, Lethalan. Oh, Hawk. Come in. I was just... Am I crazy? What? No, of course not. I thought the rule in a home would fix everything. The mirror would work and everything would be right again. But I keep dreaming of Paul's face. Everyone that I care for thinks I'm a monster. I don't think you're a monster, Meryl. I don't know what I'd do without you. You're a true friend, Hawk. I'll find a way to make this up to you, Lethalan. That's a promise. I don't understand the question. If your people were going to make a magical whatever for talking to each other, why choose a mirror? Do elves spend a lot of time talking to their own reflections? I suppose the ancient elves would have felt silly talking to a wardrobe or an urn. Why does the Knight Commander not permit us to sell everything? So Welcome back to school. Dog. Well, maybe two marks add character to the piece. A fascinating breed. Such intelligence and strength. Do you ever wonder what he thinks about? I'm not always sure I want to know. Are you aware that this breed originated in Tevintum? The Magisters bred them. It's said the Mabari defected during the Imperium's invasion of Ferelden. Merely a tale, but I rather like the idea they found the barbarians more palatable than the mages. Exactly so. Let's hope your hound doesn't take after his ancestors too strongly, hmm? Isabella, who carves that into a stairwell?
Turn up your purses, Kurt Wall. The leases of Javaris Tin Top are up for grab. The only place in Kirkwall I feel safe. Have you noticed how many Tranquil are in the gallows courtyard lately? And don't tell me I'm just sensitive to it. I've been watching, and every day there are new Tranquil, selling their bloody wares. Good mages, too. People I know pass their harrowing. Are you imagining some sinister plot to turn all the mages in Kirkwall tranquil? I'm not imagining it. The Templars are using the right of tranquility to silence those who speak against them. They're working on a deliberate plan to turn every mage in Kirkwall within the next three years. Whatever you think of Templars, you can't imagine they're so heartless. They're worse. There are groups in Kirkwall who help those fleeing the Circle. I've talked to people on the inside. The plan is the work of a Templar named Sir Ulrich. I've had a run-in with him myself. He's the one who did the ritual on Karl. Nasty piece of work. Likes to make mages beg. What happened between you and Sir Ulrich? I've been involved with an... underground resistance. Mages living free in Kirkwall who help others escape. I can't tell you any more, for your sake and theirs. You have too much involvement with the Guard and nobility. Suffice it to say, I've been in the gallows. I've seen his work firsthand. What else do you know about Sir Ulrich? The Knight Commander is at least sincere in her convictions. However misguided, she believes she's helping people. Sir Ulrich's a sadist. Cold-blooded as a lizard. He likes to experiment on mages. Find out what it takes to push them into the arms of demons. Then perhaps the blame can be laid on him, and not every Templar. That's what I hope. 
If we bring the evidence of this plan to light, there must be men who'll stand against it. Perhaps even the Grand Cleric will finally be forced to act. My friends in the Mage Underground know a way inside. A secret entrance under the walls of the gallows. Come with me tonight, please. Help me find the evidence of Sir Ulrich's tranquil solution. What do you mean, tranquil solution? That's what he calls it. His idea of a peaceful solution to the mage problem. To sunder the mind of every mage in the free marches. I'm told he's bringing his proposal to Val Royo, to the Divine herself. He would turn every mage in Thedas into a drooling simpleton under his command. If this plot exists, it must be exposed. I am honored by your trust. I'm ready to go when you are. Our entrance is concealed not far from here. anyone about this way gallows this is it this tunnel will take us into the gallows with any luck we'll simply be mistaken for thieves and not conspirators are you ready to help me find evidence of the tranquil solution let's go It tells you something of Kirkwall's attitude. That they held their mages in an old slave prison. smugglers built these tunnels to service the Templars who crave the stuff.
can't do that. Please, I haven't done anything wrong. That's a lie. What do we do to mages who lie? I just wanted to see my mum. No one ever told her where they were taking me. No. No, this is their place. We cannot... So, you admit your attempted escape. You know what happens to mage girls who don't toe the line around here, don't you? Please, no! Don't make me tranquil. I'll do anything. That's right. Once you're tranquil, you'll do anything I ask. Get your hands off her! You fiends will never touch a mage again! Anders, 
That girl is a mage. We rescued her from being made tranquil. She is theirs. I can feel their hold on her. She's the reason you're fighting, Anders. Don't turn on her now. Please, Messer. Baker, no. I almost... If you weren't here, I... I need to get out of here. Saved my life, Messer. What was that thing? He's a demon, whether he admits it or not. Can I go home now? Sir Ulrich is gone. You'll be safest in the circle. Without Sir Ulrich, maybe it's not so bad. Thank you again, Messer. Allow me. Trash. Trash. Keep. Trash. Trash. Won't be needing that anymore. This is all Sir Ulrich had. Looks like the Tranquil Solution began and ended with him. Let me see that. The Divine... rejected the idea. Meredith rejected the idea. This was... not what I expected. Perhaps I should try talking to the Grand Cleric. Maybe she's more reasonable than I thought. Thank you. I will think on what you said. So, on the word of a drunk, we intend to accuse the Grand Cleric of funding Zealots. It's a careful chat about missing Kunari. Freedom was interesting while it lasted. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her it concerns the Kunari. Sarah Hawk. Sister Patrice. Mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. Grand Cleric Elfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? Funny how you and issues with the Kunari seem to go together. And you always assume their side. I was naive when last we met. I did not want you dead, but I felt a death was necessary. That may be too fine a point for you to understand. But you must admit, you came out the better for it. I know you. And I know someone is abusing the Grand Cleric's seal. Who are you to question who serves her grace? I am sorry, but I see no reason to let you pass. How about the fact that her authority was used to abduct Kunari? A pause that says you knew. But does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. I doubt she would approve, and she will hear of it. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown 
unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And he is what to you? He is my former bodyguard, Ser Von L. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you, Sarah Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. Is there something she's not telling us? It's her game. Have you heard the chant of light? That's the song. These zealots have taken noble ideals too far. The trees is here somewhere. Then we'll find her. beast remove the fangs and it is lost they are weak before the faithful of the maker the only certainty in their precious cune is death before the righteous Sevonel. take a knee faithful the chantry blesses us you claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember, Sarah Hawk? The Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? to fight. Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Righteous! Destroy them! Bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. Madness! Madness! Yes, Excellency. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements. Oh, it could not be worse. Her Grace had no knowledge of this affair. I trust she will deal with it swiftly.
You killed them? All of them? A mother serving the Grand Cleric allowed this to happen. Are you quite sure? She held a blade with them? Told them to fight you? No, I cannot say that. No, of course not. Blasted mother. You have no idea the storm these allegations would cause. It would destroy what support I do have. I have had trouble with her before. She is... slippery. I understand. I will make my inquiries. Gently. And you should be careful in your associations. For now, we have other problems. We have the delegate, but... I can't return the bodies to the Canari in this state. Sarah Hawk. You know the Irish Hawk. What should I do? Hiding this would only make it worse. It would, wouldn't it? I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. I appreciate your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Kirkwall owes you. I owe you. You got my letter. You've been gone a while. I thought you had things under control. I told you I would handle this, and I did. Now, after a year of raids on our shipments, I finally caught one of the culprits. One of our miners, Sabine, has been leaking information. Do you know him? He claims to be from your hometown in Ferelden. I would like you to get this festering sore to divulge who is behind the thefts. When you are ready, I will bring Sabine to you. Who is this man? I would not expect you to recall every piss pot from your past. I don't remember Sabine. He must be from the outlying farms. Well, he brags to his fellows that he grew up with you in Luthering. Bring Sabine back to my place. Excellent idea. I will get him now. Here is the dung pile I caught leaking next week's shipment schedule. He won't tell me who he's working with. Who else has been screwing <clears throat> me over? Tell me, you ratting mongrel! Instead of beating the poor man, let's appeal to his better nature. Please, Miss Sir, help me. I knew you since you was young and lothering. I knew your mum's family and your pop. Mike, you got him rest. Pathetic. <laughs> I leave this bastard in your capable hands. Get me when he's ready to talk. Thank you, Miss Sir. Us lothering folks should stick together. What made you betray your employer? Before the blight, my family had a good life in Lothering. Clean home, fertile land, friends. In Kirkwall, we lived in a hovel. People spit on us, and some days we went hungry.
Trust me, things could be worse. Tell me how to stop the next ambush. As soon as I tell Hubert what he wants to know, he'll kill me or throw me in prison. My life's not worth much but my family. I only wanted to give my wife and son a better life. I'll make sure your family is taken care of. I'm humbled by that offer. Thank you. I hid some gold in the bone pit. I'll mark it on your map. I'll regret stealing from someone like you, so please, take it back. Hawk, this is Lily of the Coterie. Given the importance of stopping the cargo robberies, I have enlisted a... Consultant. Consultant? Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Well, Doug. Are you ready to bark now? There's an ambush. Planned tonight at Dietrich Crossing. Tonight? That leaves you barely enough time to intercept them. You had best leave immediately. We'll protect your precious shipment. But make sure you have the Coterie's payment. Want me to deal with this runt? Free of charge. I'll drop him in a ditch on our way out. Yes, take him. With my blessing. I assume my partner will not object. Public showing of mercy will be good for morale. Let him go. But he is a Pharrell, a criminal. Nobody will care what happens to him. Think about it. Sabine turned to crime for two reasons. He's desperate, and he bears no love for you. Spare him publicly, and you'll earn some loyalty from the miners. I see your point. Very well. For the sake of morale. I will spare this dog. Oh, thank you, Miss Hayes. I know I don't deserve it, but thank you. We're wasting time. If you find naught but corpses at the ambush, it won't be my fault. We're too late for your boys, but we'll make it. That was almost too easy. Wait. I recognize that lout. Who is he? He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Brecker's men. So your organization is behind this? We got explicit orders not to. Hubert's been good on his payments. If Brecker ordered this... The rest of his life will be very short and painful. Tell me about this man. He operates out of the south side. Always had more balls than sense. His lackeys are loyal. Brecker must be involved. Let's pay Brecker a social call. We've got a lot to talk about. I've got to be sure first. I know who to lean on to get answers. Find me in the Undercity. abandoned us long ago. They haven't answered our prayers since the fall of Arlathan. 
when we've proven that we're elves again, that we didn't lose everything, they'll come back to us. We say the same of the Maker. Perhaps they're only different names for the same divine force that created the world. The Maker wants you to be elves? Don't let them get away! You Yukotri, one of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you, and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? Lily didn't die by my hand. Someone else did this. Explain yourself. This is a case of the right hand not knowing what the left is doing. One of the scum that attacked my caravans worked for someone in the coterie named Brecker. Lily said she'd look into it. I think Brecker had her killed. Brecker, hmm. If you're lying, I'll find you. Men, we have to get to the bottom of this. Now. You must be Brecker. And you're that lice-covered refugee. You'd better leave the bone pit shipments alone. Understand? You're making demands of me. You own half a stake and a mine and you think you're somebody, huh? Some Ferelden's don't have the courtesy of knowing when to bloody die. care of I found the thieves responsible for the cargo thefts. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolved, the mine's profits will soar. 
For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy. to this line of questioning. He's wondering why you're so cross all the time. Perhaps it's the inane prodding. How much longer do I have to wait? I have something for you. Do you now? A shield? Oh, and... Worn by the one true Sir Aveline. Lovely. Thank you. I'm sorry, I don't see where I went wrong. I had a shield. It belonged to Wesley. It was difficult to let it go, but I did so. Utility over sentiment, right? We sold it, didn't we? You're taking this a bit seriously. If you didn't think this would upset me, what was your intent? If you're still aching for your husband, you may want to inform Donick. We've had that talk. This isn't about Wesley. You've got me doing a lot of things. Some I don't agree with. Some I'm surprised I do. I'm not sure where I'm going as it is. Replacing what I was with this. I mean, who is Sir Aveline to me? I thought of you when I found it. Maybe that was foolish. I can appreciate that. Then accept it on those merits. Nothing more. It is... a fine shield. You do know that Orlesian Smith slapped Sir Aveline's name on every second piece of armor. This didn't really belong to her. It does now. Donic beds the captain and he gets tougher patrols.
Well, ain't you moving up in the world? People talk, you know. I hear you got a right fancy nest in Hightown now. Nice step up for a dog lord. Only fair you share some of that good fortune with those of us still hurting, no? I was a refugee when I came here. If I could turn my luck around, so can you. I hear you fought through half the Darkspawn Horde to come back with them treasures. I don't got that in me. Not anymore. All I got is the thirst and the dust. Shiny Sebastian. Doesn't that make you an easier target? The light of the Maker is my armor, Meryl. I'm not afraid. Maybe you could ask him to make his light less shiny? Then you wouldn't need as much armor. Though the lands suffer a thousand wrongs, the Maker yet notices the smallest of deeds. says Fenrir left in the night. Of enemies. More than I knew. 
My reputation precludes me. Take my advice, friend. Stay away from storytellers. Never know what they'll say. Thank the Maker you're here. We've had to lock down the mines. Krankovich was clearing out a collapsed section when giant spiders poured out the new opening. They got Krankovich. Poor sot. The rest of us made it out. But now we're sitting here with our thumbs up our asses. I'll see what I can do. Good luck in there, hero. clear thank the maker and thank you wow is that what the inside of a spider smells like let's get back to work boys and dibs on the spider thanks i'm gonna make a necklace for the wife
funny story. I was asking my pal Earl what more these mines could throw at us. Dragons, spiders, Hubert. Then here comes Krankovich, limping towards us and moaning. I said, Oi, Krankovich, I thought them spiders got you. He just said, Ugh, and then tried to bite Earl. That's when we figured something was wrong. Turns out we let in a horde of undead. Maybe we ought to stop opening up new passages. I'll see what I can do. Good luck in there, hero. I can help with that. Excuse me. Was I in your way? All clear. Thank the Maker and thank you. You happen to see Krankovich in there? No, don't tell me. Don't need more nightmares.
Let's get back to work, boys. Last one in has to burn the corpses. And with that, I'm done. No, Leandra. Leandra. What's wrong, Uncle? There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Camlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. All... all right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Nasty in the woodshed. I hope all is well, mistress. I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. Wow. That's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. Ah. It's not too late. She could still be alive. Why would anyone take her? It doesn't make sense. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow him. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. Never thought I'd say this, but Gamlin's right. 
My men can look for Leandra while we check the blood. Any lead helps. This blood is fresh. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. There's another! You've been here before, haven't you? This is where you found the human remains all those years ago. We should have known there was something else here. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. There. More blood. They are here somewhere. Like someone forgot to conceal the door to his hideout. This wasn't here before. Mother must be down there. With him. Mother! <gasps> Alessa! locket it belongs to mother
That woman in the portrait looks like Leandra, doesn't she? This man is either very devoted or very insane. I need to find her. Now. I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Where is she? You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. Spare me the demented rambling. Where is she? She is here. She is waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers, and, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I've searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. I knew you would come. I tried to find you. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. Now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone.
should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... Why her? Why Leandra? The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same... face. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key. Do you want them to lock me up too, Uncle? I... I don't know. <sighs> you would have been better off if you were just normal like Carver. Magic's always run in this family. It's a curse. Now even your mother's fallen victim to it. I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I hope you killed him. Good. I hope it hurt. You've had a long day, so I'll go to the gallows to talk to Carver. He'll need to know about this. Take care, my dear. You... Know where to find me if you want to talk about it. I understand if you don't. Varric's taken it upon himself to add certain embellishments to my journal. Handprints? Or someone swinging on the chandelier? Sandal. Shall we take this outside and see if it floats? Your service, Miss Eyre. I want to go home. I lady. Oh, I'm sorry about your so mama. Sorry. I will miss Mistress her. Help. If there's anything I can do.
Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. It's different here as captain. Feels like family. Hawk. I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? My mother is dead. My heart's broken. I suppose I could say, at least you knew yours. But that seems more about me than you. I just have flashes of impossibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? You've never talked about him. My father trained me in all the skills he had been forced to give up. He spent everything to get me into Kaelin's service. Do you know what I remember? When he read to me, stupid things, dragons and heroes. He wouldn't turn a page until I reached over and took his hand. That big man made every step of the story my choice. I loved that. He died of the wasting in a Denerim ward. Those last weeks, I read to him. I had to take his hand to turn the pages, and I couldn't tell if he was too weak, or if it was the old game. He smiled at that, at his big girl. <sighs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. Drink? A glass for those we've lost. <sighs> All right then. Benoit Dulac and Leandra Hawk. Don't let anyone tell you when to move on. Take their hand and say, my choice. That's all I have. I'll miss her too. How much longer do I have to wait? I once knew a sailor like you. So what do you do in that gigantic house all day? Dance, of course. Really? I run from room to room, choreographing routines. <laughs> You're actually joking. Alert the Chantry. They need to put this on the calendar. And you thought I was always serious. Anyone knows Sir uh, Karen? Has he... Uh, done anything wrong? Don't mind the drunks. They're friendlier than they look. And they don't bite. Much. Just passing through your fine establishment. <laughs> you haven't seen our little patrons yet. Take a seat and I'll get you a mug of ale. Did you hear that? laboratory the guard discovered under a low-town foundry. A true disaster. Leave me in peace. There is no pleasing anyone after this. Good day, Sarah. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved, he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk, convince Seamus to come home. The Arashok says nothing good about Kirkwall, yet he accepts conversions? I cannot understand him. Maker knows I've tried, but he landed with, what, a few hundred men? Add up the deaths and defections, and the Arishok must need to bolster his ranks. I'm sure my son is quite the symbolic prize. Did anyone else see him leaving for the compound? He made no secret of it. I'm sure he intended it as another of his statements about closer relations. 
Your example inspired him. I might agree, but now is not the time. These matters are... delicate. He's politically dangerous, you mean? The office must remain strong, Sir Ahawk. He is of age. The decision seems rightly his. I want to let him find his way, but in my position, he's taken a great deal of inspiration from you. I want to allow his idealism, but not blindly. At best, my opponents will claim that my office is now in Canari hands. At worst, I lose my son. You know this will only end in trouble. Fitting. That's where it started. My son is not foolish. He will listen to reason, and you are in the best position to offer that opportunity. Please, do what you can. Canari, anti Viscount, or Seamus himself not wanting to be rescued. Seamus isn't the type. Let's go. Enter if you must. So, hope the Arashok wasn't planning on keeping the Viscount's son. Sarah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Baas still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. No doubt you see the advantage of having the Viscount's son at arm's reach. He is no longer the Viscount's son. Vidithari give up their lives for the certainty only Kunari know. You would not take advantage of his connections? The Kuhn may demand that advantage, but I do not. It was his choice to be educated. He is not my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. That seems strange. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. I doubt he'd involve the Chantry in such a personal matter. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. Don't make things worse by marching your men through the streets without cause. This is cause. This is the last insult I will suffer, Hawk. I will be watching. The Dathari are of the Kuhn. This offense will have an answer. Thank you. 
Ra Hawk. Look at what you have done. To pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. Are you mad? Your plans have fallen to outright murder? The faithful know this has been building for a long time. Where Vonnell incited, I reminded, in sermon and prayer. When people learn of this attack, they will rise! Not zealots or the unknowing, but the true majority! You won't get the Kunari ousted. You'll get a slaughter. On both sides. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. Earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die! I'll deal with this. Let's finish this! Grace? Traitors attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted. All too well. Forgive me, Your Grace. But you must know the truth about what happened here. Don't you spout your Kunari filth! This is a hand of the Divine! I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Sarah Hawk, is it? Viscount Dumas' son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Canari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. Love or hate the Kunari. A blind nug could see she took this too far. No price is too much when we speak of eternity. Eternity is long enough that we need not rush to meet it. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sarah Hawk, you stand with the Captain of the Guard? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? We protect those of the Kune. We do not abandon our own. Please, send for Viscount Dumas. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? This is not over, Excellency. 
The city needs a leader. It does. And I am no longer that person. Please. Hawk. Leave me. won't end. Hawk, I thought this could wait, but I need to speak to you at your home very soon. I've heard the nobles grousing about the commoners moving up. Congratulations, Hawk. You ruined the neighborhood. I am so sorry about your mother, Hawk. I've put a remembrance for her on the Chantry's memorial wall. This is important. Don't interrupt with your selfish prattle. Get off your high horse. I have problems too. <laughs> what drink should I order and who's the father? Oh, you little... What is it now, you two? Hawk. The Arashok is sheltering two fugitives who have converted to the Kune. He must be convinced to release them. He's already feared because of Patrice. If people start to think he can ignore the law... I need your help so this doesn't get out of hand. I'm going to die! There. Got your attention. Real problem. But hold on. What's this about? Remember the relic? The one Castillon is going to kill me over? A man called Wall-Eyed Sam has it. If you help me get it, Castillon won't kill me. Please. I'm trying to keep the entire city from rioting against the Canari. Well, maybe it's connected. What? I'm just saying maybe it will help. It's important to someone, right? Now you start being responsible? Shit. Isn't it odd that someone would run to the Kunari? They're elves accused of murder. Maybe they feel they've nothing to lose by fleeing the alienage. And if their conversion is genuine? I don't know. But how many more will try if I allow this? Justice must be respected. You're expecting trouble? After what happened to the Viscount's son? Yes. I'm hoping the Canari aren't looking for a fight. I'm hoping they'll be reasonable. But we'll see. This seems like an issue for you and your guards. <laughs> Quite a few of them. Sending a full patrol would just increase tension. But you're right. I am the captain. It's my responsibility. 
but I suspect the Viscount was hoping I would bring this to you. Then he should have come himself. Perhaps. But it's understandable that he's not at his best. I'd like to help him if I can. Why has this come up so suddenly, Isabella? Sam's been talking to black market dealers all over Lowtown. It didn't take me long to get wind of it. What frustrates me is that he's held onto the relic so long. Tell me about Sam. Sam used to run with Martin. Remember him? Martin says Sam's a bit of a magpie, picking up things that don't belong to him. Not a trustworthy sort. When Martin gave up raiding, Sam became a drifter. Who is involved in this exchange? Tivinter mages. I doubt they'll look kindly on us interrupting. Bring a sword, or twelve. You're sure this is the relic you're after? I've had my ear to the ground for a while. There was a description of the book. It's the right one. Book? I thought you didn't know what the relic was. Well, I... I, I know it's a book, but that's all I know. It's written in a foreign tongue. Honestly, what does it matter? It'll save me from Castillon, so I need it. The relic issue has to be resolved before we take on the Canari. You trust her this much? Probably not. I wouldn't. They won't wait at the compound forever, Hawk. I really do hope this helps, because if it doesn't... You think I like having this thing on my mind? Come on. The exchange is happening tonight in a low town foundry. Are you sure about this? The champion was asked to go to the Canari. I suppose you think she planned the entire thing. Considering what it led to. Come on, Seeker. I'm not going to sell Hawk short. But nobody could have foreseen the way that that would go down. Or do you still think I'm lying to protect my friend? There are elements of your story that make sense. And you couldn't have known about them otherwise. Well, that's a relief. But that doesn't mean you're telling me everything. I want this story to be told. You're not the first to get it all wrong. I think I owe Hawk that much. Surrender the relic. I don't have your stupid relic.
What are the Kunari doing here? Uh, yes. About that. The relic belongs to the Kunari, and there's a small chance they want it back. Tell me what you know. You can trust me. I've always known what the relic is. I just didn't want to worry you. You're the picture of kindness, Ravani. The relic is a Kunari text handwritten by that philosopher of theirs. Uh, Keslin, Kuzlin, whatever his name is. Koslin? That's the one. The founder of their religion, the most revered being in their history. That text would be sacred beyond measure. I stole it from them. They followed me here to reclaim it, and it's why they're still in Kirkwall. They can't leave the Free Marches without it. How did you steal the relic from the Kunari? The Arashok never had it. The Orlesians did. They had plans to return it to the Kunari. I simply had to waylay the Orlesian convoy before it met up with the Arashok and his men. Getting the relic was easy. Getting away from the Kunari was the hard part. I thought you and the Kunari were caught in a storm. The storm was only half of it. I also had the Kunari Dreadnought stuck to my behind like a bad rash, spitting fire and thunder at me. Why would anyone besides the Kunari want this relic? The Tevinta Imperium have been at war with the Kunari for centuries. If the Tevintas get the relic, it will strike a blow to Kunari morale. That's probably what the mages want. Sounds like the Kunari take their reading very seriously. Is there anything the Kunari don't take seriously? Look, the book's right in this building, and I'm not letting it slip away again. It's the only thing that'll get Castillon off my back. Please, tell me you'll give the relic to me. It's yours. Your life depends on it. Really? I... I wasn't expecting that. It's nice to have someone on my side for once. Come on, we've no time to waste. Where is the relic? I... uh... I have it! The Tome of Coastland will not fall into Deventer hands! Blood and spite! A toss, Kanari! He's getting away! Isabella!
once a thief, always a thief. Come on. Abilene will be waiting at the Canary compound. You still have to deal with that. Don't forget, as soon as you're finished wrapping up your business, we'll need to go to the Canari compound together. I'd wrap up any other business before we go. It's already a mess, and could get worse. Let's go. I request an audience with the Arashok. He will allow it, but not in this number. I will only bring my friend here and a small compliment of my guard. Is that few enough? It is. Enter. Shenadon. Greetings, Arashok. We come regarding the elven fugitives that took refuge here. Irrelevant. I would speak to Hark about the relics stolen from my grasp. One of my former companions stole it. Her part was clear. Your admission is welcome. An issue for another time. We're here for the fugitives. The elves are now Fidithari. They have chosen to submit to the Kuhn. They will be protected. Have they truly converted? Or are they simply using you as a shield? They have chosen, and so have I. You have not hidden the abuses of your zealots or the corruption of this city. You will understand why I must do this. Let us look at your dangerous criminals. Speak, Vidathari. Who did you murder, and why? A city guard forced himself on our sister. We reported him, or tried to. But they did nothing about it, no matter what we said. So my brothers and I paid him a visit. That doesn't excuse murder. Are these elves telling the truth? There have been rumors. I will investigate. But they still took the law into their own hands. Sometimes that is necessary. Like you avenged the Viscount's son. It was not right then, and it's not right now. I would have done the same thing in their shoes. Hawk, that's not helping. Their actions are mere symptoms. Your society is the disease. They have chosen. The Vidithari will submit to the Kuhn and find a path your way has denied them. You can't just decide that. You must hand them over. Tell me, Hawk, what would you do in my place? They deserve another chance. Exactly so. I cannot leave without the relic, and I cannot stay and remain blind to this dysfunction. There is only one solution. Arishok, there is no need for... Vinekathas.
Can you hear it? The Canari must be spreading out. They're attacking the city. Why? What could they possibly hope to accomplish? You heard the Arashok. He's done playing nice. And damn the consequences. You may be right. Whatever it is, we need to do something quickly. But we'll need some help. Let me guess. Our friends from Parvalan decided to take over after all. The Canari are assaulting the city and fast. The Arashok planned this for who knows how long. We should head to the keep to rally my guardsmen. Whatever happens, be careful. On the list of things I thought might happen today, a Cunari attack would have been near the bottom. Thank you for your help. I don't think we've met. My name is Alistair. I'd like nothing better than to stay and help, but unfortunately the mission we're on can't be delayed. There's something more important than an invasion. Well, you wouldn't think so, right? I'm afraid there are larger things afoot. I can't say more than that. I wish I could, but... I swore on my pinky to keep the Warden's secrets. I thought your order was more... serious. Hmm. I get that a lot. Reinforcements would come in handy if we fail. Even if I didn't need to go, Grey Wardens aren't supposed to involve themselves in wars like this. We did that in Ferelden, after all. The Order was not impressed, let me tell you. Here, maybe this might help. It belongs to an old friend, but I'm willing to bet she'd like you to have it. Make a watch over you, my friend, and over us all.
Aeroshock failed to take you captive. Unfortunate. You are Sakava's sister. Strange that he has never mentioned you. It's good that we found you, Knight Commander. The Canari are... It's obvious what they're doing. The Canari are taking people to the keep. 
and may already be in control. We will need to deal with them. Why would they be gathering hostages? They're going to take everyone of import and put them in the same place. Those that agree to convert, live. Those that don't... Charming. I'll do whatever it takes to defend my home. Good. I'll overlook your own use of magic. For the moment. Head to the keep and I will see if I can find more of my men. These creatures will pay for this outrage. Looks like you fared better than the other mages. The others? Surely they cannot all be. God. I told them to run. First enchanter or Sino. You survive. Relief overwhelms me, Knight Commander. It figures I'd find you in the middle of this, sister. This is no time for your stupid grudge, Carver. I'd say it's the perfect time. There is no time for talk. We must strike back before it's too late. And who will lead us into this battle? You? I will fight to defend this city as I have always done. To control it, you mean. I won't have our lives tossed to the flames to feed your vanity. We need to work together. Not kill each other while we figure out who leads. Then... Perhaps you should be leading us. What? She isn't even of this city. 
Neither am I. Yet I don't hear you complaining about us both fighting to defend our home. Very well, then. But whatever you plan, be quick about it. This should be interesting. Tell us, then. What is our course of action? We need to find out why they're gathering hostages. An excellent choice. Let's move quickly. seem to be a great many Kunari at the Keep's entrance. Then they've already taken it over. Clearly, they've been planning this for some time. Either that, or we're the pushovers they think we are. I don't see any of my guardsmen. This is the only way in. We must assault them now, before their numbers grow. Are you mad? They have hostages. We need a distraction. Decide quickly. We have no time. We can't risk a distraction. Orsino, make sure there are no surprises. quickly there's more coming go we'll deal with them Here is your fight out. You dare? You are starting a war! Look at you. Like 
that doth Russy you feed and feed and complain only when your meal is interrupted. You do not look up. You do not see that the grass is bare. All you leave in your wake is misery. You are blind. I will make you see. But we have guests. Sinead on, Hawk. I expected you. But for all your might, you are no different from these bars. You do not see. This madness must end. Perhaps. Prove yourself, Basra, or kneel with your brethren. command such respect. So tell me, Hawk. You know I am denied Parvalin until the Tome of Kozloon is found. How would you see this conflict resolved without it? I believe I can answer that. I'm sure you'll find it mostly undamaged. It took me a while to get back, what with all the fighting everywhere. You know how it is. I thought you'd be long gone by now. This is your damned influence, Hawk. I was halfway to Ostwick before I knew I had to turn round. It's pathetic. is reclaimed. I am now free to return to Parvalin with the thief. What? Oh, no, no, no. If anyone kicks her ass, it's me. She stole the Tome of Kozloon. She must return with us. Sounds like you have something very specific in mind. She will submit to the Kuhn and the Ben Hasraf. More than that, I will not say. You have your relic. She stays with us. I'm sure he'll take that well. Brevaney, you might want to move a bit this way. Then you leave me no choice. I challenge you, Hawk. You and I will battle to the death with her as the prize. No. If you're going to duel anyone, duel me. You are not Basilidan. You are unworthy. I accept your challenge. Marathas! So shall it be!
It's over. The city has been saved! You seem confused, Seeker. The champion killed the Arashok in single combat? It just sounds so... romantic. If I didn't know better, I'd say you developed a case of hero worship. Why? Because I have respect for a woman who built herself from nothing? Mm-hmm. If you're telling the truth. If you are, then... What happened at the gallows may be far different than we assumed. I need to hear it. Let's say I tell you. Then what? Are you hunting for an infamous apostate? Is that what this is all about? Or is it revenge? No, it's not that. Then what about me? If what I tell you isn't what you want to hear, will you still let me go? I will let you go. Well... Now we're talking. None of this is what I thought it would be. Tell me what really happened. Champion of Kirkwall. That was the reward. <laughs> A fine title. Every noble at the Keep owed the champion their lives. She wasn't just a hero. She was now the most important person in the city. Except for Knight Commander Meredith, of course. With the Viscount dead, she stepped in to keep order. Things quickly got out of hand. The more she squeezed the mages, the more they resisted. The more they resisted, the tighter she squeezed. After three years of that, it all came crashing down. 